Welcome back, everyone. What, what's up, gang? Welcome to the Regurgitating Podcast. Regurgitation Podcast number Regurgitations. Uh, I, uh, I'm your host, Ben. My hair looks fucked. My, I'm your host, Ben Paquette. Ben Pack on YouTube. Your hairs look worse. Ooh, fuck. Your hairs looked worse, if we're being honest. What do you mean? No, I what, have no wait, context. So, wait, want, to, want it to look like this? Uh, I'm your host, reg, uh, Regurgitated Benjamin. I'm joined with Regurgitated Zachary and uh, Fire, Fire Singer, <laughs> Goblin Company Gaming, Ted Evil, uh, Sean hey, what Bluff, happened to your goblin? Sean Day. Your goblin podcast thing. Yeah. You know, Remember, like I, episode gonna, two, Sean was like, guys, I'm starting a podcast about yeah, yeah. goblins. So honestly, I'm going to, I'm going to blame Haley entirely on this one. <laughs> uh, Cause, but, um, she wanted to do, she wanted to help with writing. I, I'm actually not going to blame Haley, but I'm going to <laughs> tell the whole story from the perspective of her it being her fault. And then at the end of that, say, but we both have responsibility. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hey, okay. it's the it's the it's the um objective of a leader to like organize yeah. a team and make sure everyone's oh, yeah, fulfilling yeah. their tasks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I basically basically we um uh the my biggest flaw is that if I get distracted from a project, it's gone. And so what happened was I wrote Haley and I wrote scripts for I think episode 2 or 3. I think it was episode 3. And Haley recorded 95% of it. And then I was like, okay, time oh, so to go. So it sounds like she did most of the work then. Well, she wanted to be the one. She wanted to do all the voiceover stuff. She, wa- she wanted to be the voiceover thing. But then I was like, okay, let's ship it because it was done. And she goes, oh, no, I want to re-record the last part. And I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, and then, that's what happened. How many, how, many, how many times did that happen? Uh, no, that was it. That happened once, and then I just well, uh, the more context. Um, what was that supposed to be? Because I think even at the time, yeah, I never yeah, yeah, fully yeah. understood like what yeah, that yeah. was. Well, actually, um, I talked with Mike not privately. This was in the Discord. I talked with Mike about this. Like originally, the fire singer thing stemmed from a something we, me and my college roommates, came together with and thought about, and then. That didn't really work out. And then so I wanted to continue doing that. So I originally did a bunch of short stories because we we had stuff and I had stuff written for a universe that's like for we play a lot of Dungeons we played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. So I had a bunch of shit written. You look like someone that would maybe Um, don't make fun of it. But then the first (laughs) I released a bunch of Did you do you play Dungeons and Dragons? Yes, I I was right. I don't understand like what the problem is where's the where's the regurgitated Dungeons and Dungeons and Dragons campaign? We can play, we can play. But that would be that would be fun. But I've never I, every time a content I've never creator, played it. Well, every time a content creator like like a group of it's content creators do it, I never watch it. To stream. It's not yeah. a fun stream. Like it's yeah. it's fun to role play and like the thing that makes like Roll Twenty the uh, Matt Mercer group uh, mm-hmm. like entertaining is that they're all like a- actual Act- paid yeah, actors. actors. And, yeah. Like the liter like you know what I mean, literally yeah. paid actors. And so anyway, long story short, um the problem with the original Fire Singer YouTube video or YouTube channel was that all of the videos were sort of disjointed <laughs> without like a coherent thread. So then Haley and I were like, well, let's make it a podcast form where we come up with like stories of the week, or every two weeks we come up with a story um around the world that I had already invented. So I was like, yeah, that works. And so they were going to be like sort of loosely connected, but uh, basically 20 to 30 minute long, like uh, internally consistent <laughs> stories or internally referential stories. Whatever podcasts are kind of lame. Yeah. Anyways, I don't think you want to be on any podcasts. Yeah. No, it was only, it's not even me being ironic. Like podcasts just fucking suck in well, general. Wait, but it was only one part podcast. It was mostly world building, right? What does yeah, that mean? But- what is the, world, the, the, you could have a world building podcast, a world building YouTube channel, a fucking world building food truck. Well, I what mean, you mean by you, world you could building, also have just a world building, not podcast. That, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what yeah, this yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> that's, this is this is what that is. It's a lame thing that doesn't build to anything bigger until we do. I, I am working on a greater story that uh, I uh, spit off from that stuff, but that's 
that's like more of a personal project at this point and not like something for a content creation. Mm. Sean, are you allowed to talk about the event that you weren't allowed to talk about on the last episode now? Oh, the Elizabeth that it's Warren happened? thing? Okay, so he's coming yeah. out and saying it. Yeah. yeah, you you said, okay, so last episode. Elizabeth Warren. I, I, I didn't know that. You, you, you miss you Elizabeth Warren? You want her to run again? No, what the hell? Had sex in the bathroom of the <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> um, but yeah, so last episode you were like, oh, I got this job. It's a one night yeah. thing. I can't talk about it. And you sent me what it was over DM, but I, I wasn't supposed to say it out loud. In my, in my brain, what I thought out loud to say was, oh, Pocahontas. And then yeah. I stopped myself and I was like, no, everyone would know. If you, yeah, you, yeah, know, yeah. If you know, know where you means. live. Oh, uh, she had this whole thing for a while where she claimed that she was like <laughs> Native, part American. Native American, even though it's like the one sixteenth thing. But she was trying to like, I don't know the full story and background behind it, but she she tried to ham that up a little too hard. Right. And then, of Donald course, Donald Trump, Trump running at the time just started calling her Pocahontas, uh, <laughs> which, which like, you know, he's, he's kind of fallen off with the nicknames recently. I think he needs to step his nickname game up, but just to like, Again, because at first it was a dig, but then when he started just passively calling her Pocahontas and it caught it was on, funny. It like was funny. It, that was the deepest burn. Because then you just couldn't mm. escape it, you know? Yeah, because she she is like, yeah, essentially she did tech, well, not technically, but she did lie or ham up the Native American thing. So he's just like Pocahontas, and yeah, that worked. But like, who who's out there really saying like Ron de Sanctimonious? Like that's a late, yeah. like shut up. Like, yeah, that's a like, hard like, one. That's it's a mouthful. <clears throat> Yeah, and not only is it too many syllables, but it's just it doesn't feel that creative. That, like that step was your one, game up. Trump made that Ron Denks and Demodius. What did he say? <laughs> that would have been better. No, he Ron said the sanctimonious. Sanctum. What does that mean? Because he's because he's too sanctimonious. <laughs> Which to be frank with you, yeah, I don't know exactly. It's how like to when do. you like it's like think of sa- the word saint. It, like it makes you look higher than above. <laughs> every, you're above everyone. Like, oh. <clears throat> Is it weird that like there are some words you get like the vibe of, but you can't you can't truly tell other people yeah, what fine. it means? Yeah, 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 like yeah. if someone said someone else is being sanctimonious, I like purely based off of vibes get what they're trying to say, but I don't know like specifically what the word sanctimonious is. My is my weird? guess my guess would be like peeing on a grave, but that's like sacrilegious. <laughs> that's kind of where I would go with it. No, I, I wouldn't say that's sanctimonious. It could be. It could be. It, you could be sanctimoniously Who's, like, like, look at me. I got fuck Donald Trump on P. And it's like, yeah, okay, buddy. We yeah, all I guess you can piss on a grave in a sanctimonious wait, way. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say if you're like peeing on Osama's grave, would that well, be that's sanctimonious? The, that's the ocean, but yeah, yeah. I, I think sanctimonious to me feels more like an attitude. You know? Yeah. More like the I'm, way that you carry yourself I'm rather than sanctimoniously peeing on Osama's grave. See, dude, sure, but you can also sanctimoniously operate a food truck. I'm sure. gonna. <laughs> I'm I, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna sank the the if you if you were if there was a ship right. and you were on Keep it going. called Ammonius if there was a ship and you were on it called Ammonius I would <laughs> thank that Ammonius. So Sean, yeah. you you served food to Elizabeth Warren. To um, yeah. Okay. So actually, this is uh, I I don't think I was almost fired, but my manager was <laughs> my manager was a little upset. I didn't serve food. I was holding the door open for people and seating people, like bringing them to their table and stuff like that. You're like, and, hey, Lizzie. Um, so what, what happened was it was a sponsored event. It was the Democratic State Committee of Massachusetts. Oh, I got a text cho- message. Chose our okay. restaurant. <laughs> chose our restaurant <laughs> to uh, to host. And special guest Elizabeth Warren and like two of our the two senators and a congressman showed That's, up to uh, walk into a bar. Yeah, yeah. Literally. But so as the um, as the crowd's getting a little thick, you know, the the um, as Elizabeth Warren frequently is. Yeah, <laughs> she is so thin in person. It's kind of crazy. But um, she's ancient. The Democratic State Committee was there, uh, was the event. And um, they had a guy in like a full suit. He came up to me and he's like, uh, don't worry, son, I'll, I'll watch the door now. I'll like let people in. And point them to the sign-in Did sheet. he call you, son, or did you add that yes. little no, fact no, in there? Call, okay. You know, I, I'm telling you, he said two things to me that pissed me off. But so the first one. <laughs> he called so he me, said, son. He said, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll take the door. I'll, I'll greet people. And my friends, so I literally was like, I thought Democrats were supposed to make jobs, not take them. And, <laughs> Did you say and that? He, yeah. So he started oh, laughing. Oh, that's awesome. He started laughing. His, I literally, that was like an unfiltered Sean joke. And I immediately was like, I'm fucked. But he started laughing. You just got and, punked. 
And he started laughing and the manager was right behind me. And you know, whatever, he was laughing. And then he like walked away to go get something. And my manager said like, uh, you're lucky he laughed. We didn't hire you to be a comedian. <laughs> And I was like, okay, sorry. Yeah, that is that is something that like is objectively hilarious, whether it landed with the person or not. But like a yeah. manager, like, when, like yeah, yeah, like a manager is going to be like all uptight about that type of shit. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. So so then that guy comes back. That guy comes back, and he was like, he actually was really nice. He like pulled a senator aside. He was like, uh, do you want a picture with the senator? Like it was like that. It was like I don't know how connected this guy was, but he was just grabbing. Random high up senators. 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 There's no other security. Yeah. No, there was You're no just security. Let I people even, just grab senators. I was joking with my manager. I think so Joe Biden's I, grabbed a few senators, if you know what I mean. I Good stayed at kids. the restaurant till midnight to help set up. And I was like, so there's gonna be like how much security is gonna be there? And he's like, Sean, why are you why are you asking me that? And I'm like, oh, I just want you know, it's just interesting to me how much security is gonna be around Elizabeth Warren. And he goes, please. Like, I'm not really supposed to allow you to make, the, or not supposed to, like, if you make those jokes and something happens, like, that looks really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, no, whatever. But anyway, so, so the, guy, the guy comes back from to hold the to greet people at the door. And I'm sort of just, like, standing there and with my hands in my pockets. And he literally goes, son, word of advice, keep your hands out of your pockets. And I had to just be like, oh, you're right, sir. Sorry. And like took my hands out of my pocket. But I was like, um, fuck actually, you. Fuck yeah. you, pussy. <laughs> fuck you. Like, fuck. So the, the real question is, Sean, mm -hmm. how well does Elizabeth Warren tip? This is the extra funny part. I'm pretty <laughs> sure she paid nothing. And then awesome. so they rented out two thirds of the restaurant for $2,200. And <laughs> So they paid twenty two hundred dollars for Patreon.com slash regurgitated pot if you want us to rent out a third of a restaurant. <laughs> Maybe. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. It was all donations. So they actually didn't pay. They had That's QR so codes. Sweet. They had QR codes all over the restaurant to scan and people were coming up to me. I'd like to put five hundred dollars towards the bill. It's like uh, bro, other people have already put five hundred dollars towards the bill. Yeah, you're over the bill. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh no, and then could yeah, you wait? These are just random other people in the restaurant are wanting to uh, donate so towards their two, bill. So there were two hundred people per the party sign in sheet, but it was technically one third of the restaurant was technically open to the public. Um, but I don't think anyone of the public donated. But yeah, so it was like two hundred. Okay. It was like the Democratic State Committee held like a year in review type party. I just think it would be immensely funny for like a random person to walk into a restaurant and see someone else has rented out a part of the restaurant and go, yeah, I'd like to donate. I'd like yeah, to donate no, to their meal. But people were, at, I wasn't supposed to like even say, even to the public when they were like, cause it was registered. I forget what name it was registered under. It was some fake name. And they were like, oh yeah, if anyone asks about the party, tell them it's just, oh, you know, a big, uh, the Donovan party or something. And I was like, oh, okay. And then, Elizabeth but Warren obviously, had a big fake mustache. But, but no, she wasn't. But as soon as she fucking walked in the building, people on the other side of the restaurant were like, is that Elizabeth Warren? <laughs> like, it was like, oh, no, that's Donovan. That's uh, Mrs. Donovan. That's, you know, whatever. So oh, Donovan's not a first name. Donovan's yeah, the, yeah. the last name for her. I oh. don't know. I, I, that's not even the name they use. But I'm just saying, like. <laughs> but. What? <laughs> oh, he was the name. That's, that's what that means. That was the name that they yeah. used. Uh, no, um, it could have been. Uh. Yeah, I also had Elizabeth Warren over. That's crazy. Yeah, I fucked her. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 it must be really easy to get Elizabeth Warren over. Yeah. Yeah. I would say. Like 2200 yeah. bucks and she'll do anything. <laughs> yeah. That's the limit. Yeah. yeah. You just uh, need a group of people to all chip in five hundo. Was that all you got for Christmas? Uh, Sean was Elizabeth Warren's boon. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Is that the only uh, thing you no, got for Christmas? Uh, did you get I, some good I gifts? Really, no, I didn't really get anything for Christmas. I got um, you got me a video game, a God of War game, which I like. I haven't played yet, haven't touched. Um, and Joe got me a Naruto game, as you may or may not know. It's kind of dog shit, but it's fun. It's dog shit fun. Yeah, it's dog shit fun. Is that what all? You guys is that, <laughs> that, is yeah, that no, the end of it. your? Really? <laughs> well, wait. End of my what? They, I was just asking your, questions your list about of gifts. So, you, like, your family didn't send you anything or nothing? Nah, nah I don't really do Christmas that well, that much. <laughs> okay. Go, Zach. What did you get? Um, I got a bunch of gift cards. My girlfriend got me a hoodie, 
Uh, I got a dash cam. Actually, I have a bag full of like random trinkets I got from Christmas Ooh. over there. If you want me to just bring it over. Should yeah, I do that? Should I just bring yeah. out? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? And what you get stuff in my ass? Oh, you bring over to the c- computer, not to my house. Gotcha. Mm. I didn't get any rent. I got I got hair gel. Did it work in? Did it look like it worked? Yeah, it worked real worked real well, boss. Okay, yeah, like this isn't hair. everything I got for Christmas. Again, some of these were gift cards, and there were some. Please don't um, dox yourself while doing this. I don't know if there's larger just random there. gifts that are already like set up somewhere. This is like the random little trinkets and shit. And my my mom likes to set me up with uh, a lot of them. She's a very festive person. So uh, this is a uh, banana phone. So no way. Okay. If you want to um, call me, I can technically set this up to Bluetooth. So you know, I could answer fo- phone calls on a banana Does it have speaker. You should have yeah. that at your desk. No, it's a real Bluetooth. Can I call you right now? Can you set it up? No, I don't right have now? it set up. So I, it's you know, the fuck, I'll, dude. I'll have to work that out. Maybe maybe I'll bring it over to Cleveland. We'll see. By the way, not to always go on about football. Your Cleveland Browns are crushing it right now. I put on a, a parlay, which, you know, usually I don't do that type of thing. I'll get $620 if David and Joku, they're like killing it. I was not expecting this to hit at all. 620 buckaroos if David and Joku catches a touchdown pass that- uh, on a like $15 bet. Oh, so, okay. So basically. Yeah. Hmm. I have um, these shower steamers. Oh, I love what those. What are shower steamers? Explain that. I don't know. Apparently, you put them in your shower and they steam more okay. and make it smell good when you're showering. Yeah, you yeah, need yeah. that. I got Sensodyne toothpaste because I'm a that's, little old person. Yeah, dude, that's the, you You were getting told that you smell like shit. You got some stuff for your shower? <laughs> I <got and> mouthwash. <laughs> mouthwash. No we're gonna way. Going. And they gave me this gun? <laughs> <laughs> I got sham- Old Spice shampoo. Okay, you smell okay. like asshole, bro. I got no shaving way. cream. Okay. You need to shave. That is true. Yeah, Tyler. I Ross. got a uh, charcoal toothbrush. Yes, yeah. dude, you are getting r- railed. Oh, electric toothbrush. Yeah, that's pretty badass. I got a hairbrush. <laughs> yeah. You just need to groom yourself very clearly. <laughs> I got. <laughs> I got flossers. I hate those flossers. I just rather use. I love them. Some of the dinosaurs. They're my favorite. Uh, uh, okay, so bro. this is interesting. This is ketchup from Germany, but it's meant to be on currywurst. So uh, I wish this wasn't backwards for you. Fuck it. It's what is German. currywurst? Currywurst is a street food in Germany where they get um, it's a specific type of sausage and uh, they cover it in like ketchup and curry powder. It's like a ketchup mixed with like curry powder sauce they put all over it and they usually serve it with French fries. Look up currywurst. I've had it when I was in Germany. It was it was pretty pretty good. Uh, although this kind of looks gross. This pre bottled version of it. I'm not sure if it's old or not. Kind of looks a bit yucky if I'm being real. Um, I'm glad you're being real. I got a uh, big Hershey's kiss. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get one of those from me. Um, Poop stain from mouth. Got an eyeglass <laughs> repair kit. Mm-hmm. Your glasses mm-hmm. are fine. <laughs> I got this mug with a little uh, what is this? A copy bar on it. A carry beaner. Hey. 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 I knew you guys would have had to have hey. that reaction. <laughs> whoa, whoa, dude! I guess this is a flashlight. Carry, carry, carry. <laughs> got body wash dude <laughs> fucking they said bro. just in case this one doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> I got pickle band-aids Wait, have you used one of those you haven't used them yet no what kind of cut do you need for a pickle band-aid to be the only one that works my cock um okay. you guys could have seen that coming I got you cord could tags see you could see you it coming when he visited cord tags oh cord tags are cool what are cord are tags? Yeah, you put uh, them on the cord so you know which cord it is. That's it? He only has yeah, one cord. Uh, you, there's like one cord for everything. His controller is even wireless. That's pretty much it, if I'm being honest, for like the trinket stuff. The, sw- Again. The, the, the hoodie. Is the hoodie nice? Uh, Yeah, I have to go in my closet. One second. Do you do your thing? I gotta put all my stuff and, away and, real and quick. Put it on, but take your shirt off before you do that. And then take your pants off as well. But I'm not gonna put it on right now, but I'll show it to you. You're not gonna take your shirt off, though? How about that part? Take something else off. 
Is this is everyone having fun yet? Is this fun? Yeah. Is this yeah, fun so. for anyone? God, I, I hope I win so. six hundred dollars tonight. It'd be so cool. It'd be so cool. If what you do you mean? Joe Flacco you. throws a touchdown pass to David and Joku. What are you gonna get me for Christmas if you get a hundred dollars? <clears throat> Nothing. Well, I hope. I, I, I hoped. So what are you? Uh... What are you, you doing? How, did you have you asked your coffee? I didn't, I didn't make my. I was gonna make it, and then I was like, "I'm." I knew it. You're just not very coffee right now. <laughs> so do you know about um, Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul's like mezcal brand, yeah. their tequila yeah. brand? This yeah. is a hoodie from them. Okay, you know how they fuck or whatever. Yeah, they kiss, and Frankie Muniz watches now or something. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. weird. He's watching yeah. the game. What happened? What happened? No, hey, I'm putting this away. <laughs> you, can, you can always see Zach when he turns. He'll be like this. You know he's watching. He's watching football. That's what he's, that's what he's no, doing. He's I can football. just. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, your you eyes make got. it very clear what you're doing, Zach. It's not like you're not hiding it from anyone. Maybe I should move it over to this screen. I should have it on both screens so that way. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I could just switch yeah. it up. Like, we just see doing this. <laughs> um. So I got some pretty damn good gifts. Okay. Yeah. I got uh, gift cards. You got gift cards. Where do you, what? Actually, yeah. Show me before, the before I. Yeah, show me the show me the back and the digits. But what 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 gift cards for what? Which places? I got um, In and Out, Raising Canes, uh, Starbucks, Dutch Bros, and um, my parents also were my my nice gift was they gave me a part of a, a Southwest gift card because I wanted to. I said I was going to travel a bunch this year, so I got like a oh. hundred dollars towards like another. Oh wow, flight. that's really nice. Yeah. But that that pays for your your flight to me. My next almost. flight to Cleveland, yeah, yeah. Um, so I got some really good gifts, Brian Shut and Evan. Up. This is my favorite one, my maybe my favorite gift. They're definitely up there. Brian and Evan got me this. It's a very new product. I think it came out maybe last year, maybe mid last year. I think there's a cat in my room. I thought I felt the cat. Um, <laughs> this is called a play date. I can unplug. <laughs> this is called a play date. And, wow. it, and it's and it's a little like Game Boy thing that's really easy to develop for. It. And I and I already got it a Pokemon. I got Pokemon on here using an emulator. And uh hold on, I someone like just sent me an email. Huh? I just got an Ooh. email. What is this bit now? What is this bit? It's not a bit. I got an email. Yep, I did I believe that's not the bit that I'm talking about. I believe you got an email. Why are you announcing that you got an email? What is it for? Okay, you can continue. All right. All right. There's this game called Boogie Loops, and I make music on it. Want to hear Boogie Loops, my Boogie Loops song? Yeah, I want to hear a few of your Boogie Loops. You can make background music for the show. That's my Boogie Loops song. We heard none of that. No, did you? Did you? Did nothing? None of it come through? I mean, I mean, it was a little bit. Yeah. Well, yeah. I only made like I think my two loops. No, I mean like out. it was in and out. Yeah, that's like that's exactly what uh, uh, Zach got a thing for, a gift card for, hmm? in and out. Oh um, yeah, that's a good joke. And then, no. um, and then I got uh, Alexis got me underwear and she got me sh- socks. Underwear. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was a good joke. What did my mom get me? She got me an ice maker. She got me a cold brew thingy the holdy thing i thought you were trying to not drink as much coffee i'm not i don't know why she got that for me but i've been enjoying cold brew i was gonna drink some tonight sweet but um having a lot of i've been drinking a lot of hot chocolate you decided alcohol Um, instead yep Uh, well i had i've had this twisted tea since like the day before like christmas eve so i was just like uh, um so three days yeah (laughs) What, what what else wait what else did i get though i know i got something else that i really liked um, I got, a there's a sign from my, from Alexis's mom. It says recording in progress and there's a microphone on it. And it's also, there's also a, a, a content shirt. creator. There's also a shirt that has, it's like a little sound, like a waveform and there's a little <laughs> microphone on it. Cause she knows I have a podcast it's, it's with, with all behind that. Does it say like, it. does it say like something about a podcast on it? No, or is it just, it's a just and I thank God that it's just the waveform about, form is, can we figure that podcast? out? I know. I don't, <laughs> yeah, well, it's, an awesome it's, like a, it's, it's just like a like a line. It's not like really like a waveform, but um, mm. I, I thought that was a very mm. cute gift because she knows I have a podcast. She's, she's like, oh, that way. Um, I got a few other things. I got stuff from the. Has she watched it? 
Uh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> she watched That'd all of my, uh, nightmare. my she watched all of my home videos that I have on YouTube you're, privately. You're Alexis's mom? Yeah. And they thought I, I was very funny. She watched and Going Green? Probably also autistic. I don't think she... Maybe she's watched Going Green. She's seen some of my shit post videos. She watched Zoo Gang or whatever? Zebra Gang? The zebra Gang? Yeah. Zoo Gang. That's kind of a weird name. It's a weird name. What, what made you think of that? <laughs> I um I was looking through video game OSTs last night for more shorts content. Yeah. And I found yeah. that website that I sent to you that's... An, sweet database of like tons of osts mm -hmm. yeah. and i i was like listening to this one song and i was like this is a kick-ass song i should use this for shorts and i was like what is this from and i clicked on the album and it's like a furry simulator game and like all of the songs are like furries make great music yeah they're all like about touching dogs and shit you yes. know and i was like i just so happened to click on like an instrumental track and i was like i don't know if someone recognizes this song and like traces it back i had to scrap it although speaking of dogs that a uh, main short i sent you last night that by the time this will be published should be out um get, take a wild guess where that song was from you're not gonna guess so just say something random let me listen to it let me listen to can it. i listen to it Fill the, fill the, yeah, you can, I know. Uh, fill, the, fill the dead air. Fill the dead air. Please, now, mm -hmm. go. Well, the, the issue with sending it to Sean is I sent you a lower quality version that was capable of being uploaded to Discord, and I deleted it from my computer. So. I, Carly, for the DS. You're actually pretty close with a DS <sighs> game. It is a DS game. Do you want to take one more guess? Is it, a, is it, a, is it like a Nickelodeon show? Is it like a, a show game? Not Nickelodeon, but it is a show game for the DS. You're surprisingly closer than I thought. Okay, it's not Nickelodeon. It's with either Disney or Cartoon Network, I assume. Nope. Nope. Fuck. Okay. I don't think you'll be able to it's guess Tosh what it is. It's for the DS. Bang. That, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's the Caesar Milan Dog Whisperer Nintendo DS game. That's actually which based as fuck. Surprisingly has a decent soundtrack. That I use Damn. for the background of our next main short, which Dude. I'll probably upload tomorrow. So be prepared to upload to Twitter. Shit games ha sometimes have the best like hidden. The, 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 the people that make the game are dog shit, but the people that make the soundtrack are, are baller. I know. A lot of the times there, it's the opposite. There were so many of those like indie games that I was looking through and I was like, wow. Whoever they hired to do the soundtrack for this just fucking killed it, dude. Oh, we want to wait. It's too oh, bad. Actually, no one's going to play their game. Yeah, true. Maybe. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. I was looking for creature collectors on my play date. My play date. Because I wanted to play like a Pokemon type game <laughs> on that. Other autistic. <laughs> and Alexis and has I, other autistic boyfriends that she collects since. Wait. Hold on. I was on a play date with my wife's boyfriend. <laughs> wait, look. This is the first thing I downloaded on this. I can't see that Ooh. shit. This is so <laughs> compressed. It says poke me. What does that say? Pokemon. Wow. Yep. And it's and it. Uh, you just have to pick up eight. Uh, po it says seven Pokeballs, and you win. And I was like, "That's not a creature collector. That's not what that is. That's a ball collector, am I right? That's like what Adam uh, is. Your shirt is uh, distressing, Sean. It's distressing real bad. You you wash that in the wrong load. <laughs> I wash it. You were wrong with load. a load. Am I right? Waiting for it. Yeah, three guys, um, three white guys on a Discord call. Yeah, <laughs> three guys yeah, walking to a Discord call. So um, I was coming in my own hand, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zach, I, 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 I keep you saying can say that it on and Twitch, I, right? <laughs> He's I keep, broken. I, I keep, I keep saying it, Zach. Every time I think of that you, about you coming, I get happy. Yeah. Well, yep. I want to spend some time today reviewing potential content ideas because ben when i when i get there we're gonna need to have stuff sorted out so we can just do it yeah okay? we were supposed to do that offline but I, online it's I'd, I'd love to do Damn, he said shut the fuck up zach he <laughs> said no i i'm now i'm saying quite the opposite i'm saying talk more you little baby face yeah. little mongrel um also what's the status on your elden ring video mr have it done by christmas yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Next so Christmas, he said. It, it's one of those. It's one of those things where. Oh, it is one of those things, huh? 
I was like, I, I can I can get it done by Christmas Eve or whatever. And then I said, yeah, but then it's like it's gonna. I'm not gonna be able to watch it if I don't like perfect it. So um, I have to re- re-record a lot of them voiceover. And then okay. I gotta I gotta re- record the last like fifteen to twenty minutes of voiceover, and then uh, I have to find get the thumbnail from the thumbnail artist, and then. Well, that shouldn't take up like large swaths of your time. No, nope. hiring I mean, I, thumbnail I, artists. I, I it's funny. I had last Friday off, and then I had obviously Monday off, and then I had yes uh, <laughs> Tuesday off. <laughs> And then yesterday I got back to work and I still have more PTO than I'm going to be able to take o- keep over, you know, the new year. So I also take took off today and tomorrow. So I'm tomorrow I'm going yeah. to be editing more. So I guess what video. I'm trying to say is like not to be narcissistic and not to be coming from a place of I am important, mm-hmm, but also mm-hmm. I am taking the time and money to come out there to be doing this. I would like to have some ideas planned and then once they're filmed, Put a little bit of effort into editing them and try to make them like yeah oh yeah it's going to be serviceable done. YouTube videos right it is absolutely going to be done before my birthday it is I, I don't believe you I have so no reason remember, to believe you I anymore said, remember I, have, I remember Ben you put I me in a position 70, I, where I have it, to be mean to you about this I said like seventy what seventy five percent or eighty percent done right I don't care if it's one percent or ninety nine percent done. I don't it's, care if it's how much uh, Native American Elizabeth Warren is. It's, I'm going to start yeah, calling so you Pocahontas. Elda, it's, Elda like, Hontas, it's, like Elda it's like 90% done. It's, it's really just, I got to finish the last 10, 15 minutes. I got to voice over, got to edit all that together. That's the fastest part. And then I got to do the, just the, I would say work. I trust you, but unfortunately I, I'm out. Of, Dude, I'm, I'm out so, of those. I'm, I'm out so of the, excited. I trust it's, yous. It's, it's like there. Like it's it's the okay. whole stretch. I have no this choice be, but to trust you, but Zach, I don't. This mm-hmm, is the mm-hmm. this is the final live episode. Yeah, actually, on that note, do you want to potentially after this episode stop posting anything until we get done with the IRL stuff? So like nothing gets posted in January, aside from maybe this at the very beginning, and I can just the only, make the a only bunch thing of shorts. And we can really edit the IRL stuff. And then when it starts to come out, like it hits the ground running. Like, would you prefer yeah, that? I, that, that? That's fine with me. So the, so the only thing I want, I absolutely want to get out in January, if not early February, if I, if I, if oh, the I, rewind thing, the re, the recap, that would be perfect. That'd be yeah. perfect. But that requires more editing on your part. And I already well, am this, putting like your I back said, to the wall on editing. And like when I, said, I get there, your back will be against a different yep, wall. That's right. But, and and over the kitchen counter and under the kitchen sink, my brother. I gotta stop talking like this before I'm not allowed to fly out anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I, it's this is the last uh, live episode. This episode is coming out officially on Saturday. I, will, I do want to do more live streams, though. Mm-hmm. I sent you on Discord last night those little live stream promo things. We're not posting those. I posted that today. Did you really? I it's did. live right I'm now. Like, we're live. I don't know why we haven't been put. Yeah, it is, it is up right now. Okay. I really like those videos. I yeah. unironically think they're kind of some of the funniest things we've done. And what's funny about is that. Is those little it, promo things. Is that that is like the, like, like a, like a small, I like look into what the IRL pod content is going to be like in my brain. Yeah. Well, we better start thinking of ideas for it because time is ticking on time. when we get there. So I, yeah, I, I, I I'm the only tell one you. coming up with like, actual ideas all right i'm gonna i'm just gonna i'm gonna say this here because why not so i had an idea zach okay good i i i I don't mean to be mean by the way i mean i do but like i'm being mean because i feel like i want to like it goes back to like what i was talking about with itineraries uh, in episode like 34 i think it was where it's like i am not someone that's an ultra planner but i do have to have like like some guideline Structure. being yeah, like yeah. if I if I am going to show up somewhere, if I'm going to put my energy and time into doing something, I have to know that like I am moving something forward, right? Yeah. So I I, uh, I don't have an idea for the IRL content itself. I have an idea for 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 ideas for <laughs> fuck the IRL. You. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Shut listen, the fuck listen, up. Listen, 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 listen getting together a bunch of our my your friends and shooting 
not just me and you, just a, a bunch of us just shooting like content ideas off one another, I think would be fun. I think that I think that could be its own content as well as what like in a Discord call. Other. Yeah. That's literally what I pitched you while you were live. I said, that's what this live stream should be. And you said, yeah. And then here we well, are I, doing I another get episode. Together. I want to get friends together. That's first. fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, say pick it a like time. That. Don't say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> pick yeah. a time. <laughs> um, yeah. So I definitely want to do that. I want you okay. to be there. I want da- I really want David to be there, but his schedule's much I different. Just, yeah. I, my, my, also, another reason why I'm 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 talking like this too is because I've already booked a lot of travel for like the beginning of January. So there's definitely going to be sections of time where I just straight up can't. That's fine. Yeah, we'll, do anything. We'll, we will we will we will get shit in order for sure before you get out here, and we will have a we we're, we're recording hopefully <laughs> hopefully eight videos. So yeah, sure. We got to get all of them done that Sunday though. Plus, I'm all um, pod, right? With yeah. your do you have limits on your ideas? So for instance, are they going to be mostly like. We've put no guidelines in place for what okay. this is yet. Yeah. Now there's but certainly it, stuff that I probably won't do, but I'm sure. I don't, I, but I didn't free, mean to free platform yeah. to pitch it. Yeah. Yeah. No, do a prank video. No, I, I, where certainly we say wasn't, that we I wasn't have a bomb in an airport. Yeah. I wasn't thinking of anything like actually dumb or crazy. I know that I usually just say random bullshit. Everything I, that I comes out of my mouth is dumb and crazy. Dude, say one r- dumb and crazy thing right now. <laughs> the N-word. I literally, okay. you're reading mine, Zach. We're like, <laughs> we're just, like you guys two just great podcast. minds think alike. Yeah. Why am I choppy again? Why is my frame oh, rate ah, fucked? Forget about it. Ah, who cares? I won't um, forget about it. Oh, it moved me back up to 1080. That's why. That'll there do we it. go. Why um, did it do that? So, let me let me let me let me tell you something, Zach. I I was re-listening again today to Thirty Five <laughs> in the car, kind of accidentally, and I was I was on Spotify and I was listening to it. And what song? I forgot we're on Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, episode forty. Episode, episode what do those 30, numbers look like? None. Zero. Episode thirty five. <laughs> you said or episode thirty five. Yeah, I was just applying for my next social media manager role, and I'm like, yeah, I got zero listeners on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Zilch, actual zilch. But um, I was listening to it, and I was, and I was when I was driving, yeah, either yesterday or today, and I was like, I was like, because I, I mentioned a, a, the the original thought that spawned the podcast was I wanted to do like a kind of a diary esque YouTube channel where I'm shiny hunting Pokemon at the end of it, whatever. I, I th- and this is just a mild plug. I think and when I, I was talking about earlier, I was like, oh, I, I got to make a brand channel. How do you make a brand channel again? Because I'm making yet another. YouTube channel, which is not going to be that it is going to be. So I, I really like having, I like getting content out. That's like a big, a big a dopamine rush for me is getting content out. Like the Elden Ring video. Yeah. Like the Elden Ring video, which is going to be the biggest dopamine rush, but even like getting a, getting a, a VOD up on, on my VOD channel feels good or getting a shit post up on my shit post channel feels good. And I want something very pretty low effort. So I get that dopamine rush and I get that. So I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that idea. It's not going to be as. You, you need to hire hunting. like an assistant editor but, or something. The, you need but, to go well, out is, and find listen. like a Filipino guy you can hire for like $5 a week. You and can you actually just, do. I know you can. I, I work for a company that owns another company that does that. But I'm saying like you should like look at getting someone where you can just spitball an idea and send shit well, to someone else this, and they can like put the bones of it together for you and you can run it from there. This because you have the same problem I do where you dream too big. Yeah. Well, the, this channel we're, both itself, vi- we're both visionaries that's so and deep. it's a problem Vision and entrepreneurs as well, I would say, but this, this channel itself would be like, it's super <laughs> More like, like entrepreneur me. bro, come on. T- me, me talking one, the one audio track music, quiet second audio track. <laughs> Stock footage of video game at two times speed video track. Send it out. That's that's my that's my mental goal for that. And it would just so be me talking, talking about, about what? whatever. Oh, whatever okay. I want to talk about at the time. It's so Oh, so you're going uh, back to like OG YouTube commentary days. Yeah, so well, yeah, exactly. So this is like yeah. this kind of spawns from we have a this is so <laughs> like how I uh, live streamed on Twitch while I was driving home talking about how I wanted to that's, kill myself. Ex- like exactly like that. <laughs> so we have a a, a, a Discord chat. Uh, Discord channel uh, text de- Discord text channel called People Talk, which is just no. You go in there and say shit nobody asked about. 
I want that. Oh, is that in what that's video for? form? Yeah. I got to be honest with you. Your guys' Discord is the most confusing yeah. labyrinth mm-hmm. I've ever mm-hmm. seen. <laughs> yeah. I'll go in there sometimes and be like, I wonder what they're up to. And I'll just, yeah, scroll, just scroll through. Yeah. And I'll go like, I have no fucking clue what any of this means. Oh, you're and then sometimes you do- I'll remember. No, I'm still talking. So, <laughs> I, sometimes I'll remember that there was like, oh, yeah, they had like a channel for this. And I had a thought that would go there. And I'll go try to find the channel. And it's just nowhere yeah, to be like found. And I'm like, yeah. what? it's either renamed or it still exists. And I scroll for like 15 minutes and I All go, right. I got to give up. Like I know it's what, there I love, somewhere. I can't find it. What are you? What are you thinking about? What, okay, so what do you think you would post in the channel? One teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon smoked paprika. What do you think you post in there? Okay. Do you want to provide more context? Because I can I see the, the whole idea. list of, of why idea. that makes sense, but I don't oh, yeah, know. It's just, I, it's, just a, it's just a barbecue sauce recipe. Yeah, yeah, there's, 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 it's a closed <laughs> channel. You can't post anything in there. I love the idea of like a quantum, like library where anytime you need something it's where you click but also then when you need to go back to that you can't ever find it again <laughs> that's that's what your discord is by yeah. the way well, your personal discord not that's our what I, group that's, not our that's podcast what I discord is confusing wait go to tell me tell me what chat doesn't it's make just sense a laundry list of like okay let me put it this way Do, have you ever had a friend <clears throat> nope <laughs> <laughs> he's just about to die it. so i'm not gonna have one for long bro okay have you ever had a friend that's had like a corporate job or any kind of job where when they're explaining a situation to you at work they use too much internal company lingo mm-hmm. this happens to me all the time mm-hmm. it happens to me with like other friends that have jobs too, but my whole family works for State Farm, and they have like essentially their own language full of acronyms and um, little okay, internal language for this. Dude, what does yeah. that mean? And 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 well, I know what that means. H- but HPLC. Yeah, but you know what I mean. They'll just start talking to me or venting to uh, me, and like a quarter of what they're saying is in like internal lingo or in these acronyms that I'm supposed to understand and you know when it's from other friends sometimes i feel like it's in an effort to like um it sounds smarter than they are you know but then oftentimes too it's just them just not thinking about who who they're talking to what is this a halo outfit i'm overanalyzing this but i I get a similar feeling when i go into your discord where it's all like this internal lingo you guys all know and it's not just like a, a little bit of it. It's like paid. Like again, you have to scroll. No, no. For like for a while and like find stuff and you rename stuff all the time. And for someone that just wants to peep in <laughs> and go like, oh yeah, I had a thought. I go like, no, I'm not. No, there's I'm descriptions not. of yeah. each channel, bro. Main no. channel, Hayabusa armor only. <laughs> <That's> the, <laughs> uh, also, Zach, Zach, noobs Zach, 420. I can I can relate to this pretty pretty well because. Um, when did I join the Discord? When I was like a junior in college, right? Like yeah, like twenty. I, as soon as high 19? school ended, I like fucked off. I didn't. Really, I talked to Ben a little bit. I like went through. God, I wish you would fuck off. Like three or four years where we really didn't talk that much at all. Yeah, Maybe and so more. then I was invited to the Discord, and I mean, like I had never heard the word pog. I didn't know what any of the emotes <laughs> were. And I know of a I, different pog. Yeah, that's true. My wife. I mean, I had heard. I had heard of p the p a w g, but I hadn't heard of. And like I didn't hear, I didn't know anything at all. So I was just like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> okay." <laughs> <laughs> and you quickly learned, though. You picked it up. I did. Well, up. I mean, there is some stuff where it's like, you know, I I I'm on the internet. I've been on the internet most of my life. Like, there's some shit that I kind of know. But like, y'all run with it. I, I don't know. It's your well, private honestly, Discord. You're allowed to do what is, you want with it. I'm just is, explaining is to you. Yeah, I'm just explaining to you that a I get lost in it, and b I. And I'm sorry about that. As you someone want, that is not a core, hardcore Zach. friend of yours, but is just no offense, I guess I, 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 for lack of a better term, a casual friend of yours, it's tough for me to open that Best up friend. and go like, "Oh yeah, I, I, it's it's tough for me to engage in this format," right. and then I'll no, just close right, it down. Right, Zach, I'll give you a tour anytime. You, main chat, whatever you want. I don't. I don't need a tour. Command. I'm going to forget about game it. Game invites in two weeks. for game invites. Grab G for videos. It's so easy. <laughs> politics chat for politics. Love games for love games, bro. It's so simple. <laughs> Easy, busy, beautiful. Okay, girl. but love games not as what video is cars, games, but... computers, coom caves. It's when you, it's, <laughs> it's flexing your whatever you have. Maybe if you want to like flex, like you what know, is like a, WebMD. 
That's if you <laughs> what like is are Chips feeling, Ahoy. Chips Ahoy is <laughs> that's for shit. That's for see if what you is a daily dose of Kylo. <laughs> That's, what, that's, dude, that's go to, ca- go to, what go is to, CAG Pack go, 3? Just go to Run Escape what is and pew, scroll pew, up. Pew, pew, pew. Go to pew, Run what Escape is and What is Thomas Figaro Montabano? <laughs> that's, 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 that's the Lexus. Like, what is Felix cat. My Pussy? I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> what is... <laughs> wait, I'm everything sorry. under... Wait, in Trash Archive, you can, you can collapse that. that. None of that matters. <laughs> so... <laughs> so you, uh, all you have to pay attention to is pet gems, famous shame, runescape three. Not all of that was show. in the trash archives, no. by the way. Yeah, but some of it was. <laughs> so you know what? You, you, you ever play Sea of Thieves? A chips ahoy! It's like ships, like ahoy, ahoy there. Duh! It's so simple, easy peasy, beautiful cucumber girl. If you got hit by a bus before I flew out to Cleveland, I'd be hap- never happier in my life. I'd have to pay a hundred dollars for a hotel room. <laughs> Do you think? Do you think that the the the, the, the Squidward fancy, handsome Squidward thing would happen to me? Did you see that guy that said that I look like the fat fuck from uh, the baby, the Ice Age baby? Yeah, I saw no, the, like Ice the Ice Age, Age baby, baby one. The, the fucking Plants vs Zombies guy with the, oh, with yeah. the pot in his head. <laughs> you were yeah. the zombie. I didn't look like the zombie. I looked like the the, the pothead guy. Are you Wait. okay that I uploaded that today? I'm, I, dude. I I, sent, I immediately sent that to Alexis. I I love that video. It is so good. And then everybody is doing the exact opposite of what you requested in the caption. I know. I was hoping to get some like love and support for nope. you. Nope. 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 They immediately called me the the baby from Ice Age. And what's they weird called is me, it's not in Grabji. I don't know. Yeah, what's the bot the bot for box. reflex is broken for some yeah, reason. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Um you have any content plans for your main channel, Zach? Sometimes I do. I don't right now. You're being oh, choppy sorry. again, bro. You're being choppy. Changed, choppy guy, choppy guy, choppy guy, choppy guy. Very I changed enough. browsers. I was checking out our analytics I, for a I moment. I changed browsers, yeah. I'm still choppy. Oh, <laughs> I guess it's better. Do I have plans for my main channel? I get ideas sometimes, but none of them that I'm married to enough to actually do anything. I still like your idea of me doing the Google Maps thing more i uploaded the longer form of that to reflex like an hour or two ago if you saw made a comment about Uh, that on my stream wow i i wasn't watching no um (laughs) um (laughs) what was i gonna say Uh, oh but yeah i know that you said i should do that myself but that wouldn't be awful side content here as well but that's that's that that's for later us to figure out or later me to figure out I don't know. I don't have any solo content ideas at the moment. Maybe that'll change. Just make another fucking Snapchat filter, bro. That's all you got to do. Maybe. I like working on this stuff. And I hope that when I'm able to come out there and we plan some IRL content, it'll be good enough for me to be like, oh, I'm like making stuff, you know? Um, And I, I would like an extra client. That's kind of my dream situation for this year is like, I can fly out to you a couple times a year we can film some IRL content that is good enough for me to be like, oh yeah, I'm like doing something, right? Like I'm doing something creative and I get to plan stuff and um, get a lot of personal creative fulfillment out of talking to you occasionally on this show, making some shorts and flying out and planning some sketches or bits with you or something. And then on the side from that, take on like a freelance client where I can make some extra money and then still be employed at my current job. What's your rate? I don't know. I don't know what my rate would be right now. It's been a while since I've done freelance work. I can tell you, I'll I'll just the, the last client I did freelance work for still technically owes me money, and I've sent him letters, and I, he's not paying it. But the um uh the rate I was getting paid from him, and keep in mind I was making daily short form content for him. I was making it a, a minimum payment of $700 a month, but there were incentives based off of that. So if I hit certain numbers, it could go up to like $2,000 a month. I don't know $2,000 a month. Well, I was getting paid for the better part of a year from this client until they just ghosted me on the last two months of payment. Great. Sad. Yeah. But there was like eight months there of making 700 to 2000 dollars a month. When you say short form content, what do you mean by that? <laughs> like shorts? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, shorts, Instagram reels, TikToks, they get reposted in all of them. So And then you, now you do it for me for free. 
I've been doing it for you for free before that too. I think. Yeah, there you go. See yeah. Zachy. That's, uh, that's me and you. <laughs> but Zachy. again, that's my dream scenario. So I'm currently employed as a professional video editor, and I wish to maintain that throughout this year. I, I hope that this current job offers me something more. But again, even if it's just this, that's somewhat fine. Um, and then I can get some personal creative fulfillment out of this show and doing a lot of things there. And then I can maybe also take on a freelance client to make some extra money. That's my dream sitch for this year. And I get to travel a bunch and see my friends. And you get to rebrand a little bit. <laughs> what do you mean? We got to rebrand. We got to do the rebrand. <laughs> okay. I was actually thinking about that earlier in the week. There shouldn't be a lot more. I might just straight up hire someone on Fiverr to finish the intro for me. Yeah, if I'm being honest have, with you. you. Have- if you have ideas and you think that you you have like a, a vision with that, I because like I'm, let's be I'm real, the play, assets I'll, are already done. These. Profile pictures done, um, banners done. I got to do um, like little pop ups for the videos and an intro. And I thought, weren't are you still married to the idea of commissioning a music track for this show or no? I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm not like we're engaged, but not like, we're, we don't. okay. Because we would need that before asking for an intro. Right. So would you, do you want to head that up? And then once that's finished, I can work, worry about the intro. Oh, and I got to finish the t-shirt shop, but that's just a matter of me switching over the provider still. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. All those sure. designs are done. All the other things are set up. I just need to switch over the provider. Yeah, I mean, if I don't find anybody that I like, then we'll just uh, pay a few bucks for a song. <laughs> okay. When do you think you'll have that sorted out by? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Like, I truly have no idea. I mean, but, uh, if the I guess what I'm like trying to say is if you're asking me to anyway. get rebrand stuff done, that would want to... This is internal talk public now, but like, if you're asking me to get rebrand stuff done, that's fine. But I think the music track kind of gets a lot of the other assets done past that. Yeah. Point. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find a person to do that. Cause I, I don't, yeah, I'll figure it out. I don't it'll, mind it'll spending be, money on it. But it'll be a thing that I know. do immediately after I'll look into immediately after the other ring video is done. That's my priority right now. Every, every time I sit at my computer, that's all I, I <laughs> have been doing. That's not true, but that's, that might be. Okay. Well, um, well, we'll, we'll sort all that stuff out off the air, but for now, what uh, what kind of IRL? Oh, are we gonna do the IRL content stream separately? You said where we plan IRL content. Tech, I don't fucking know. I come here. I'm just saying. Thinking, do you want to talk about it ideas now, or do you want to wait for you to get people together? Well, if you have if you have ideas off the off the, off the dome, <laughs> I just I sent have, you I, a bunch of them earlier. All right, let's talk about this. Let's talk. Let's talk about the. I'm going to yeah, go. Sean this doesn't is, have access good... to this channel. So let, let's get a, a third party opinion on this. Sean, are this, you yeah, down this, to like rate yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, and yeah. give this is constructive a good way criticism? To set a guideline. This is a good way to set a gu- guideline for this content. <clears throat> but I think looking at the pros and cons and whatever of each content idea. Yeah. So is it just going to be you two or is Alexis involved in any way? Well, she's probably just going to be filming it. But <laughs> I mean, We'll figure that out yeah. later. Um, um, okay, so uh, let's. Here's here's a start. Science set <laughs> chemistry set. We're, let's start there. What are, what are the pros it. and cons of a, of a science chemistry chemistry set with no? I, I assume we're going to go with, into it with no direction. Can we kill each other? Okay, Sean doesn't know the context behind this. Can I please explain the bigger picture of oh, that? Yeah, go send it. The idea would be alternating round we get two like science at home kits you know what i'm talking about like for kids like a science experiment kit and one person would have to be blindfolded and the other person would have the instructions and try to guide the other person through completing the science experiment kit um i think those are generally a lot like they'll say like ages three and up or six and up or whatever i think most of those is as long as you're not actually eating the chemicals I think I most of those them? are, uh, it, it kind of depends, but I'm pretty sure most of those are like essentially safe for at home use. Yeah, but the audience doesn't have to know that. The yeah. concept of a video of someone being blindfolded, being verbally guided through an experiment. Does that sound like interesting oh. content? Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. I thought you were 
you know, because I I'm went not to asking you if for, it's dangerous yeah, because, or not. You know, I'm a, I'm an educated person who went to college for chemistry. So. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah. No. Okay. So, so to be honest, that makes me think of something like a, like a family friendly, or even like so, like either not like a Mr. Beast, but like a, like that seems like something Ludwig would do with Miskiff or mm. something. Mm. Those are those are people that I learned about from Ben. Um, Hello. Uh, it, it's it, yeah. It seems like it would be entertaining to like a, a, a wide audience. It'd be like kind of fun, like uh, silly. Like, what are oh, the pros? No, like, spilled. what are the what are the cons though? Like, can we can we kill each other with it? Or is that a pro? Maybe. <laughs> no, I don't think yeah, either I, of you would die. If I if I like put if I get some, a little bit of cyanide in there and I just like oh, all right, look at this and I just like, put it, it in like takes a drink more or cyanide something. Cyanide than you think to die, but I'll get more than I think. <laughs> like that, that, that we, do, we, do, we do we do like a, a, a science set and we and Zach's under the impression that we're only working with like just the science tools coming in that with a little like three to six year old set and I just bring a little bit of cyanide with me and I just fucking kill him that'll be the last video we, we well, record the, for the, the day the con of that would be that you'd also then now I'd be like liable and stuff <laughs> That's true, uh, no I mean in terms of like actual I, what do you mean by cons <laughs> like, like, do you think your people are going to watch it? Bad out? content. Yeah, is, is it, it bad, bad content? Con- I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm just purely focused on is it doable and is it good content? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no, now I- we're also straying into the realm of like, what is the channel, right? Like, oh, that's like a cute little thing to do. It's like, well, we're not like a how to channel, right? Like, we don't have a niche. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're not about anything. It's just a comedy channel. So, like, yeah, what yeah. is funny? What is interesting content? Yeah, no, I think um, guiding someone... I mean, I think... Uh, the only thing that... Genuinely, the only thing that would concern me is if there's, like, a powder or something there and you, like, spill it and then you got to worry about cleaning if it up. If Ben so dies, cats, that's fine. No, no, it's I not, don't it's care. Not, <laughs> as, as, as humans, I'm thinking about the cats. As humans, you'd be fine. I mean, I, I, to be honest, I don't think... It, I think you guys would be funny enough doing it. Like uh, if Ben were blindfolded and you're like, mix it. And then it just starts like spraying everywhere. Like I saw a YouTube short earlier today where it was a family and they were doing that thing where they're blindfolded and they pour the buckets back. But instead of like glitter or water, it was like the Ublex stuff. Oh, so I don't know like, what that is. It, it's like, you know, uh, it's like, um, it's like that goo that flows like water, but like is, it's like really no, thick. Bruce Lee. <laughs> it's like exactly uh, right. it's like yeah. really thick glue that doesn't stick and like uh i can just send you the video but um you're blindfolded and you're the, the original thing is to pour water backwards and the other person has a bucket they're also blindfolded and there's you pour the water into their bucket and then they, it goes down the line um i don't remember why i started talking about that like that you, you, you were you were talking about like just a good content idea oh yeah it would be fun yeah i mean it'd be kind of like it's cutesy funny in that sense um but i don't think it would i also don't think it would be like your audience probably right now is a bunch of like 25 to 35 year old dudes who look like ben and i think ben would find it funny it's, it's just me a bunch of me <laughs> yeah i would find it funny i um, imagine most of your audience is like ben and Ben would find I think Ben would find it funny. Yeah, but a lot of the stuff that we personally find funny, people usually end up hating for some reason. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's what I well, that's what I'm this, fuck it. But then this would be like an A B test kind of thing. If you like. Yeah. All right. Ben also said scuffed Amazon Prime Time. What did you mean by that? I gotta get well, socks. My feet are cold. I'll be right back. Well, the it's the the cow chop series, Amazon Prime Time, where we just buy each oh, other yeah. Amazon items, but it's just like scuffed because it's not a, prof- a professional set or anything is just us in a fucking room. I don't think there's any downside to that unless the item is unfun, which I think we'd both be able to make it a fun item. Like if I got like if I got like a noose in a box or something like that, we could make a bit out of that. Like we were just like hanging from the ceiling. I usually like do a pretty good job with editing. Like the main shorts, sometimes I watch through those and I'm like, this kind of fucking blows. And then I'll put Doesn't together Sean an edit look beautiful. for it. I'm sorry. It doesn't Sean looks fucking, glorious. He looks like Jesus so Christ being resurrected right now. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're you are a very good short editor. on that man. I don't. I don't mean to be. Uh, I don't mean to like suck my own cock or anything uh, too much on this show. But like, Great you time have to put headphones on. <laughs> um, but like, the, sometimes I'll watch through just like without any editing, like little sections of our main shorts, 
and I'll be like, eh, and then I'll just start putting together the edit anyways. And I'm like, oh, this is like funny now. Like yeah, I found yeah, the yeah. rhythm, the yeah, flow. Right. What editing is for exactly. of this. Yeah. 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 Um, again, sometimes I'll just shit out the reflux shorts, which I need to get better at. But like the main shorts, I hope you appreciate those because I like I went through the other day and just watched, rewatched every single one of our main shorts. And I was like, this bangs. I was like this this goes so hard. They're all um, they're all very good. Yeah, I can't wait to keep doing those. Also, again, while we're on the subject of me blowing myself, <laughs> have Go you ahead. noticed I'm finally back on a kick of like regularly of course, editing? Of course, I'm, side I'm stuff. loving it. I'm so happy. I'm telling you, I, I all it took was for me to get like a week in, and then yep. my brain's just yep. on it again. Yep. So, yep. and I'm happy. To, I'm happy to see it. I'm very happy to see. Yep. It. <laughs> yep. Um, yep. Yep. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. If, for for the for the for the, the, the us buying each other gifts, as long as they're funny gifts, and as long as we it's edited well, I don't think it's gonna fucking make a difference. I think it's gonna be good. Also, on the subject of buying each other gifts, one of my first ideas here was we send each other Amazon's most dangerous items. That is there a list of like, those? There's a level of like how dangerous are we talking? Like, is it gonna like get get you caught on like, Amazon? Well, is it gonna get like caught in like? Like post po- uh, mail, like if you can buy it on like, Amazon, I don't believe you'll have a post. What do you mean most? Of, do you mean like things that could? You mean like oh, I bought a shitload of bleach off of Amazon and that's dangerous? Or I don't do you know, mean maybe. like I bought a gun nice. off? Of I haven't Amazon? thought it. That I have, you can't buy a gun off of Amazon. Yeah, what is it? Know. Walmart. We buy people. <laughs> maybe we can buy like a hitman. I don't think you guys know what Amazon is. <laughs> So that, that that'd be good if if I could get like buy like yeah. a mugger like a GTA mugger <laughs> off of Amazon and I can have him come IRL for you IRL GTA mugger yeah I can have him come for you um, um and then after that of, is strangest item yeah a lot of these ideas are like um I think I wrote them you could somewhat pick, to be remote oh uh, it's yeah. gonna be good content never mind like we drove Fiverr musicians to the brink of insanity like that could just be a remote yeah like virtual are, thing. Yeah, one, so I like, yeah, like the top Soberman plays twenty one questions with a drunk. That does sound fun. Yeah, the oh, bottom, how about, the, the uh, bottom two both, are pretty good too. You both like music, right? right? What if you did a? Uh, we went to Guitar Center and pick random instruments or whatever, and then see if you get kicked out. Oh, we'll, yeah, we'll get kicked out instantaneously. Yeah. We'll walk in with two cameras and we'll be like, just leave. Yeah, <laughs> just go away. Bad Buzzfeed quizzes. Wow. <laughs> Going? Reacting to the worst Ask Reddit threads, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah those are, those, those Hiring are one of those Zoom mystery guides that yeah, definitely meant to be yeah. remote. I hire a hitman to tickle you, and yeah. then ranking minorities in favorite slurs is how yeah. I end that first yeah. part of the list. I think that'd be good. Um, and then, then, what, then sweet have you been pro, to the me. RSDB? I don't know what that is. The racial slur database. Oh, oh yes, no. I have. <laughs> I do. I, I know about this actually. I studied what, it in high name school. Name a few. <laughs> Did you write a name report a on it? Yeah. yeah. There, there are a few good ones. Um, Speak up Pro teaches noob how to become melon. Uh, it's an I, ultra I'm niche not, video, but it's, I, it could be funny. You know, cooking challenge would be good. Best burger oh, in co- Cleveland. Oh, actually, unironically, a cooking challenge. If you guys each gave yourselves like an hour and a half to make cookies or some shit. How, and yeah. we could, but we could sabotage each be, other. Like we could, we could like, they could like oh, fucking fart like, another. Each no, other no, cookies. yeah, you could do like Mario items. Like you each get like a Mario item, and Alexis will oh. randomize it or something, and yeah. it'll be like a banana, no, no, and no, you no, have no. to put a banana in the cookies, mm-hmm. or like be banana good. peels. That does sound cookies. like fun content, but I yeah. think rating it to Mario is kind of autistic as shit. Well, well, that's the point. We're, <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> the point. It's making it as autistic as possible. And then writing each other's fan mail would be good. Also, well, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be tomorrow, but you could like, you could like hit a button and it'd be like three tablespoons of baking powder or something, (laughs) just to like make it (laughs) taste like absolute piss. Yeah, Yeah. I do like that. We should brainstorm on that one more. Although there Um, is something else later that I sent today that I think kind of is a good attachment to that. But writing each other's fan mail really quick. Have you guys seen? have you guys, Bro? have you guys seen uh, the SNL like weekend update? Colin Joust and Michael Che, where they yeah. give each other jokes. Yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. kind of what I was thinking for the write each other That's fan the one mail. Good thing out of SNL. It's like we we do the video seriously. Like we're we got real fan mail, and I write all of Ben's fan mail, and he writes all of mine, and we have to mm-hmm. read it 
out loud. That, that would be, be good. funny. That would be very funny. My favorite one is the, is your next idea. Oh, the bits or skits? No, the, the stuff you put on 1221. <laughs> <laughs> I texted Ben at 7 p.m. out of nowhere with no context and received no response. Monkey ball. <laughs> He's trying to put monkey ball when he missed the end. <laughs> I said, That's a good monkey one. ball. That's a good one. Um, okay, today I wrote down more. I said art competition. Okay, that's a good one. Pictionary, something yeah. like that. Or painting. Yeah, I'd be better. Just painting. I'd be better. Like, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Crocker Park Ice Festival. So I looked up events in Cleveland on January 28th, and the Crocker Park Ice Festival came up. We could go there and check yep, it out. We could do that. Um, that, would, that, would, that would take a, a significant amount of the day, I'd feel like. But yeah, that's fine. We can do that. I don't know where Crocker Park is. Um, I said outside booth to ask questions. Eh, there, maybe. We, we could, we could get it. We could get a, a pop-up table. With a big piece of paper yes. that says there are only two genders change my mind. <laughs> how can we make that more? How can we do a fun play on the Steven Crowder meme? These are two boys change it's my a little mind. Outdated. I don't know. Hmm? These are the, like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking like what, we, these are two something change my mind. Like these are two. I don't I'm know. racist. Beat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, Out in downtown Cleveland. Like these are two racists change our minds. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just a hard cut um, to us being like bruised. <laughs> uh, worst pizza in Cleveland. We can go to oh, that pizza restaurant we you found. Can do the, yeah, the Portnoy guy. Mm. Or, kind of. I was going to say find like the worst rated pizza restaurant or pizza shop oh, in Cleveland okay, that we can there. go there. I like yeah, the idea for rats, them. though, for sure. <laughs> I like, yeah, for sure. I like the idea of the next one, the autism test. I could see them. You I've, us I've said autism game show. Was a yeah. fire idea. That was a fire like idea. autism What's, test game show. Be? So you know, how, like game shows, like you answer questions for points or whatever. I'm familiar. Yeah, it's like we would take an aut- like we take an autism test, like all the different questions you'd have to answer for an autism test, and make them like game show questions. Oh, okay. So at the end, it gets revealed whether or not you have autism. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. in a high production form of the show, what you about, get like a real doctor to come I, in and like read the results like the Maury show. But what about the, what if some kind of spoof on deal or no deal? Yeah. Yeah. Autism or no autism. Although I guess like, if you had a, if you had a black I guess you could just walk away from having autism if, if you, you did had a black friend, friend with her, no you deal. could do a deal or no deal, but the big case is the N-word pass. <laughs> there you go. What does that have yeah. to do with having autism? No, I'm. We're talking about game shows now. Are we? It'd be a great. Yes, it'd be now a great <laughs> gift for someone who's autistic. <laughs> and word pass. pass. Yeah. You got uh, an I mean, autistic an person an N word pass for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? What? I have to pass. You guys. <laughs> um, it's exactly. What I was thinking. I, I said. S- no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go, go ahead. ahead. I was about yeah, to keep going on the list. You finish. I had nothing to add. No, you go ahead. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I said speed cup challenge for the next one. Hilarious. Yeah, the the, the what, what, what's this? How's this song go? <laughs> go I don't. I didn't hear it. Miss me when I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, you go miss me okay. when I'm gone. <laughs> this one I think is um, it sounds like a lame idea at first, but I think the way that we do like the one minute game shows, like if we did it like that for this, it could be fun content. Team crossword puzzle struggle was what I wrote. So like you and I completing those type of like word challenges or something. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know. It sounds think, dumb think, when you sound lame when you say it out loud like that. But I think when you do it in the style of the one minute game shows where like we lean into the fact that we're dumb would be it, funny. It can literally there, be there a are, one minute game show. I mean, it can, are, that can actually just be a one minute game show. I'm thinking to make it like a longer thing for like there a are, real there are content. There's a website that can generate like crossword puzzles or word searches and stuff. And if you guys did like a word search challenge, but you found out like Ben's was all super easy words because he's retarded. So like Zach has like real words. Like real and Ben is like apple, dog. He's like trying to What is the opposite of a cat? Uh <laughs> a hog. <laughs> okay, this next idea though. Um, ben, if you want to read it, I think this idea is fire. Can't surprise no one's done this before. Panhandling for charity. 
<laughs> what do you think about that, Sean? <laughs> on the on the corner of the road with a cup that says like I'm homeless and need money, but then turning around and donating it to homeless shelters oh, for money. Oh, I thought you oh, were. No. I thought you were. We have a cup that that where you sit next to a homeless guy, and we have a cup that says he's homeless. We need money, and he just <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what I I was thinking something to the effect of like donate to homeless shelters, and it's like a sign that like there's actually just homeless people like pissed off. No, at. I was thinking like tricking people, like like because then you have to live the life of a homeless person, like seeing how much money you can panhandle. But then instead of it being a mean video about like, look, I'm homeless, it gets no, turned I around. Think that, into, honestly, that that would be inviting weird criticism because like this whole show is inviting weird yeah. criticism yeah. buddy have you read our youtube shorts comments it's nothing but weird criticism yeah, bro, so they look like the plants versus yeah, it looks like i got a booby i said ranking creatures from the paleolithic era could be flames could be flames <laughs> could be flames could be flames <laughs> would be flames let Rent me be more confident house? why don't we buy one that's up to you, buddy. Yeah, your place. <laughs> I know. I don't have I'm much of a yard either, which makes, it, which makes it additionally funny. Like it would just—that's why you like want to rent one. There's a big ass tree in my backyard, so there's there's like no room to even have one. Ooh. Uh, okay. Th- wait. This next idea, though, is something I've had in the back burner for a while for like a genuine show. It is a show where I convince you of obscure conspiracy theories. The point of the show being like two people sit down at a chair, right? I come with like a report on like an obscure conspiracy theory. And I do my best to try to like genuinely convince you that this is like a real thing. Like that is the show. It sounds like you have one in mind though. You already have like an obscure conspiracy theory. I I just like learning about conspiracy theories and true crime stuff. Yeah, I, I I I don't think there's any con to that. I think that if you you tap me in a room with a fucking clipboard and your big ass four eyed ass glasses, you could you could you could be like, did you know that in the Paleolithic era there are actually no dinosaurs? I'd I'd be like, what do you mean by that? And you could just go off that. No, I feel like this idea has more potential that you guys are missing right now. Well, give me give I said me arm what's the wrestling with stakes. Arm wrestling with steaks? Not the food. Yeah, there's I like the steaks food to it. as well. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. I was that S-T-E-A. would crush me in arm wrestling, though, if I'm being real. Yeah, especially if we're using steaks. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely win. <laughs> that, that fucking ape strength kicks in when he gets a whiff the, of that. That weird strength. I get one filet mignon and I just, I just go a little bit. Ooh, ooh, ah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, this next idea was what I was alluding to a while ago. Blindfolded cooking show. That's just that that is just a hospital visit waiting to happen, is all I that do is. Like, okay, if we can step back to I do like the idea of the like you pick a conspiracy and then like you or you each argue a conspiracy to each other. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I I agree. No motherfucker. There was nobody on the moon. Are you any Well yeah, like there's the lost cosmonaut theory. You know about phantom time theory? You know about time cube? sister was a witch. That's all I know. So, like, not that I genuinely believe this stuff. Uh Uh-oh. But, like, again, you'd pick, like, an obscure one. Mm -hmm. An obscure enough one that we're, like, you don't have a preconceived notion about it. And I write, like, a thing with full intent to be, like, this is meant to convince you this happened. You know? Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like how like how believable can I make this conspiracy theory? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I I, no. I like the idea. I like the idea. Sit me down in a room with your little bitch ass wise ass glasses and give me a little bit of a lecture. I said Ben's birthday gifts. I just give Ben birthday presents. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> I mean that that could be that could be an offshoot of the uh, Amazon idea. Breaking obscure Ohio laws. Don't got a single one. I can't play music loud after 8 p.m. At your, at yeah, your like place? Those type of laws. Yeah, I don't know if that's a law or if that's just like... Like a, how many limit. obscure Ohio you, laws wait, can we break Wait, does your apartment in like touch other people's apartments? No. I don't know. It's a very weird thing. to. I mean, someone must have been doing that. And a, a prior tenant must have been doing that. True. My guess. 
How about will it blend, but will it flush, and you just fuck your whole <laughs> toilet? <laughs> Dude, I like the Wait, next one a lot because I would, I would actually genuinely be down for it. Really? I think we should yeah. we should do it then. It's yeah. reading Ben bedtime stories until okay. he goes to sleep. Yeah, that would be, yeah, that would be <laughs> good. It could be like it could be like, like 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 as soon as I start snoring, that's like time. Like it's like a we we, we can like do it as a speed run, and you're like reading me bedtime stories when but I'm really tired. Do you tired. fall asleep fast? Time. Do you feel like? No, I mean that, that would, that's that would, the best part. <laughs> but that's the thing that would work for me because I would fall. You know what I mean? Like. But the thing is, like, yeah. the video would have to be so condensed. Is Alex just, just going to be sleeping next to you as well, too? No, she she's going to be doing doing like the uh, the, the background vocals. For the the bedtime background story. vocals to reading yeah. bedtime stories. Yeah. yeah. God, I hope when I'm uh, a parent and I'm reading my children bedtime stories, my wife will do ad libs. My wife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Sure. It's, Dude, oh my, okay, that'd be so good. Um, and then presidential election, go ahead. What does that mean? <laughs> that was just a thought. What was the thought? <laughs> presidential election, yeah, yeah, because yeah. So it's gonna we be like, 2024. We like have some, we have people vote between the two of us who has the most riz after we like we try to raise someone up. If you want to take it to that extent, sure. We can like we can like get him like a sex doll or a mannequin or something like that. Then we can walk up to it and be like, "Hey, girl!" And see, and that would be funny vote, like, if you got a, a, if it was like a sex doll. That would add the like. It'd be funny if it was a real woman. <laughs> <laughs> we just we just like find somebody on like Yik Yak or something. Hey, come over. That doesn't Dude. exist anymore. What is this, R.I.P. That's true. Actually, yeah. Um. That would be actually a funny residential election. Actually, would be that's a, that's a much funnier idea than it than it. Like we're just like we're live like live streaming me just rising up. Like, I, I I could I would go done. much farther than you. I would go much farther than you, Zach, in rising someone up and rising uh, a, rising a sex doll. Up. Oh wait, you guys could just do it on VR chat. If you want to buy me a VR headset, sure, dude. You can do your desktop version. Look like a dimwit. You can't riz on desktop. <laughs> Maybe you can't. Says the loser of the residential election. It's actually the, <laughs> says the, the desk- runner up of the residential <laughs> yeah. election. It's funny because the desk the, the, the desktop VR chat is how I rizzed up Alexis. So you yeah, absolutely I, that's can. why I brought it up. Yeah, I'm just saying we're trying to get eight of those done in one day. Pick them. Pick them or think Look, of something we, else. Okay, we, should even, use, we should even add more. The- you can use the NFT bit we already filmed at Ben's place two years yeah, ago. Yeah, that would be one of them. Maybe an NFT salesman. I don't even. I don't, I don't have that project <laughs> file anymore. I don't know where any of that went. I don't know where any of that went. Yeah, Zach, you're gonna have to watch his fucking USB drives because this motherfucker will record a whole video for you, and then delete oh, it. Fun content idea. Um, um, falsely reporting Ben's hard drives to the FBI. No, you can't do that because he names his hard drives child porn. Actually, child porn. That's yeah. what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I said someone watching the stream what? right now. He lives in Cleveland, Ohio. So say there's a man named Ben Paquette. You don't know where he lives, <laughs> but you know he lives in the Cleveland Heights area. If you raid his house and check his hard drives, there will be hard drives labeled child porn. But they are not. Swat him. Swat him They're right now. No, porn. leave that last part out. Okay. Well. Sean, what was what was the what did I give you? You want it was a it was a was it the the NFT salesman thing? You that, said like rape is okay or something like it was the yeah that was, yeah that was that was like the zip file no or whatever riz. and then, and then <laughs> yeah that and that was that's W Riz bro no actually L Riz you gotta say that, you gotta say that that's, <laughs> it's crazy to say that that's L Riz. <laughs> If that's not okay, then what? Then like what, 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 what I'm gonna kill fuck, myself. What the fuck are we doing when you're here? If that's not okay, dude, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. What? Hey, how you doing? How was your How was your holiday, Zach? Guys, there's not a lot of time left for David and Joker to score a touchdown. Who is <laughs> he's Joker? gonna lose? That. His name is, All I, his name I've is, hit every single thing except for David and Joker needs a touchdown. Wait, his name and is David and Joker minutes. or David and Joker? In Joku, you just keep your absolutely saying it for art. someone that likes anime you sure do have a thick brain when it comes to these names 
Gojo is, Satoru Gojo is, he is Japanese? different than date date uh, date date. No, Janeiro. he's African, but Njoku does sound Japanese enough to where I feel like you should be <laughs> able to pick up on it. <laughs> Njoku? I've never seen anyone named Njoku in Jujutsu Yeah, because you don't live in so. Africa. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you want from me? <laughs> maybe that's true. Maybe that's well, true. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you live Cleveland. in Cleveland. <laughs> no, wait. The Cleveland Browns. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's not in no, Africa. It's, like, it's Cleveland Browns. No, it's Cleveland Browns. Not just because there's black people in Cleveland, Zach. Jesus Christ. Oh, speaking of going to Cleveland <laughs> on January 28th. So yeah. I, I know this means nothing to you. It is when you're the, just dropping the exact date, but yeah, I think you already did actually. Who no, gives a shit? It. They're gonna have to yeah. fucking find you. Don't we, you don't leave your house. I, I will be hard to find. Um, the uh, the dates that I'm coming out is the date, the exact date of the uh, NFL championship games, and the Cleveland Browns are if they win this game are going to be in the playoffs. So there is oh. a small chance. That I will be there. That a I will be distracted a little bit in between recording, being like, "No, you good. could do this. Could be a bit where you you know, you were they were talking about your friends using too much uh, jargon, uh, office jargon. You could have been watch football and just be like, "Can you believe they just sent a passer down the fortieth yard line?" <laughs> the issue with that is using football content, <laughs> like using footage of a televised now, broadcast. This is where it comes in. You just then green screen both yourselves like. Playing football, like like Ben's going to kick Playing the ball. Madden. The, we just the recreate ball, like, the game in Madden. Yeah, it's like claymation. No, no, no. I mean, like shittily done. Like like Ben kicks the ball, and then it, you see it go into like that's, like that's a, all I provide. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm done for that. You want to toss around the pigskin, Ben? Go for the, the fuck ve- ahead. The vegan pigskin. I'm gonna be tossing around. I'm gonna be tossing around that your fucking fucking your little testicles and that little scrotum. Um, what? Little, make you a little make you a little cream. Make you cream a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna be in Florida that time. So, Sean, what should we do for IRL content? What is an idea you have? I I think I've said three or four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, uh, let's see. I um, got an email. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Off the dome, something for regurgitated. <laughs> We could like that's the thing. Do you guys mm-hmm. like do you guys like skits like whitest kids you know or are you looking I for love like the whitest kids you know? I don't know if that's what we are, but I thought about I suggested doing similar things for Cause like specifically had, shorts. Because you could do this idea do where you're else. like you're planning a big like get together, right? And you're like, Yeah, we just don't want to repeat of what happened, you know, last time we did this, you know, shit got a little out of hand and it's like, Yeah, we should just that date, you know, whatever, and then you find out it's like instead of January sixth, it's like January you're just planning the next coup. Or something. <laughs> Did I ever tell the story about how I almost went to the January six riots? On yeah. Here? But, yeah. Do you I'm know someone that, that out, But for sure they did. Oh, well, this is live. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's okay. No one knows who that is. Mark it. No one knows who that is. Um, but yeah, no. So I have a friend. Well, I have a friend. He's not. I don't know. I don't want to say. You know what's weird? Like with guy drama, it's like I don't want to make it as dramatic as saying we're not friends anymore. You know what I mean? It's yeah, not yeah, that yeah. big of a deal, but it's like I just don't talk to the dude that much anymore. Um, it's a little too much. But he uh, was getting really into like filming things, right? And he's very politically active. And this was uh, around the time of Biden's inauguration. Was <clears throat> or maybe it was before? I forget. But we were on a Discord call, right? And we were. He found out that essentially Donald Trump was planning this like organized protest on January 6th to like, oh yeah, while they're certifying the election, that's what it was. They, they were planning on protesting that day. That was all they knew. All we knew was that Donald Trump was going to be there and there was going to be some kind of protest. And he wanted to show up and just film people, right? Kind of just like, you know, maybe ask a few people some questions, but for the most part, just man like, on the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man on the street style content, just letting that was people four speak. years ago, not to interrupt you, but like, holy fuck. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh my three, God. Right? No, well, basically four. 2021. Yeah. I mean, in like two weeks, it'll be four years. No, it's 2021, right? Not 2020. 2025, whatever. Three years. Oh three yeah, years. no, you're yeah, right. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Jesus three Christ, years. Sean, you scared me. Um, but uh what was i saying oh yeah 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 so like you know i was like looking up flights i was like this close to booking one right like i had like saved 
on like a tab. <laughs> Flights to like, book. It's not even. It wasn't even a good freeze. You were moving the entire time. <laughs> my, my it's not eyes even good. <laughs> but flights to book, hotels to book. Like who was gonna drive me? Like I had like a whole itinerary like booked out. Mm-hmm. It was just a matter of actually like committing to do it. And uh, I forget why I didn't. I think like some family stuff came up or something. So I kind of just went, went, went to the back of my you mind and ended up bullets. not doing it. Um, <laughs> no, but so then like, you know, surprise, surprise, January 6th rolls around and I turn on my TV and I go, whoa, shit. <laughs> oh, I was almost there. That was crazy. Yeah. I don't know what I would have done. Cause like, I also think too, not to get myself in trouble. I think I would have went in. I'll be honest. I think I would have went into the cap. Yeah, film, film it, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would. I, okay. I can guarantee you that I would not have gone in. And the whole reason is because I especially when there's large crowds, I always like watch from behind. I'm always yeah. like, someone's well, going to okay. get trampled. <laughs> let me, know, let me do a my, correction my on that. My first thought is, is like people are going to get trampled. And I, ain't trying I to don't get... think I would have like, if I walked into the Capitol building and I saw that lady got shot or them like pushing cops or like yeah, cops yeah. fighting people, I don't think I would have been, I think I would have walked out pretty quick. Right. But I'm saying like, I'm filming people. I notice, Oh, they're in the Capitol. When else am I going to be able to go in the Capitol? And I walk into the lobby and look around like that. I could see myself yeah, that's not like too far into being, the building. Yeah, yeah, I can see like, that. I could see myself being dumb enough. I'm saying this is dumb now. I'm not saying this is a smart idea or I would knowingly do this. But like the fucking Capitol's open, you know, like and people yeah, are just hanging it. out. I, like I, I would why never not go- walk in and like film a few people. Okay, here's and the, here's see the thing. It. Here's what I because like. um. I didn't do that, by the way. I did. I'm a very par- I'm sort of a very paranoid person. I genuinely, I think the first couple of thoughts in my head would be, there's no shot. There's Congress people in there, and then I would think, but if there is, I, I, I'm saying I don't think I would have known how no, serious it no, would have been. That's what I'm. What I'm getting at is, what I'm getting at is, I the reason why, like when Elizabeth Warren was coming, I was asking all those security questions. Not was obviously not because I want to harm anyone. My thought process literally was like, "Am I in danger?" You know, what I mean? you know. What I, mean? I was like, "I want to know how much Secret Service is going to be there because I don't want to get fucking shot up when Elizabeth Warren well, comes into this fucking." Thing. So like, I go ahead. I feel I feel like that I would be hyper cautious of like. So when I found out when I obviously this is all in retrospect, so I can't like speak to exactly what I would have done. But when I watched the things and found out that like, okay, they stormed the Capitol building, they were in the building and like Congress people were being shuttled out the back essentially to like a safely, like I think Ocasio-Cortez was like, like running across or they something. They have underground right? tunnels and shit. Yeah. For sure. But so I guess I wouldn't have seen them, but I, in my mind, I, you know, I, that's what I would be looking for is like, where are the vans coming? Where are the mm-hmm. SWAT teams coming from kind of thing? And then I would be fucking bolting I- the other direction. I had a similar thought when I was in D.C. last because the hotel I booked was in direct sight line of the White House. And I could, like, see windows into the White House. And yeah. no one checked me for guns. Not that I would have done anything, but, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, but I, As a exactly, critical thinker, I was like, what is stopping someone yeah, yeah. from bringing a gun up here? I'm sure that, like, <laughs> you know, there's more checks in place than that. But Probably also, without a, you even knowing. Like, yeah, but I also, would hope. I would hope so too. But also, there was that guy who just ran into the White House and it was unlocked. Yeah, yeah. You would have figured See, is, that, but that's what I'm saying. It would have been this, locked. So, like, not to not to talk more into that. Um, is that like when I was talking to my manager, I was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, should I be like, I am pretty nervous about tomorrow. Should I be nervous about tomorrow? And he goes, Oh no, nothing really happens in restaurants. That literally, that's what he said to me. He was like. <laughs> Nothing really happens in restaurants. And I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, no, I mean, they're generally safe. And I was like, uh, okay. But like Elizabeth Warren and two other senators are going to be here. And he's like, yeah, but like restaurants are fine, bro. And he literally said something to the effect of like, no one really cares about restaurants. That's what he said. So plan and uh, people at home, write notes, kill people at restaurants. No one will ever expect it. <laughs> but um, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I, I asked like, he probably wouldn't be allowed to tell me if they did background checks or he might not even know. But that's what I was asking. I was like, was like secret service here like weeks before. And now I'm like, 
kind of like joking with him, but trying to ask serious questions. And he's like, no, I, as far as I know, no one's been like casing the joint or anything like that. And I was like, oh, I, um, I, fuck I, it. When I, when I brought up the White House thing to one of my other friends, he also said like, you would expect the White House to have like bulletproof glass, but I bet you would be one of those things where like you take the shot and be like, oh shit. It's normal glass. You know what I mean? I like, just killed like the you, fucking president. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, I mean, not that you would take a yeah, shot yeah, just <laughs> jokingly. Not that yeah. you would take a sarcastic shot at the president. <laughs> but like, you know, it, it, I could see it being something where it's like in your mind, you're overthinking it, thinking it's the super high security thing with bulletproof glass. But like in reality, well, I bet that's oh, part it's of just I bet fucking that's, glass. I bet like, that's part of the mystique is or not, <laughs> or, or like the defense is like because I mean. I found out recently that the fucking president has to pay for the food that they eat. Did you know that? They have a salary. Yeah. So like, I mean, I didn't like, know that. Like but. if, 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 and when Michelle Obama or Obama were like, Hey, we want this fish. That's only in Australia. That's like a thousand dollars. They have to ship that from Australia. to, yeah. And then like the president yeah. pays that. Like, it's, it's, I would find a way to be president if the, if the job came with free food for life. I'd will my way in there but somehow. I mean, but uh, what I'm getting at is like, like there's so much more that we, I think we all sort of take for granted <laughs> about like what government does and like, not to be like any type of, but like, yeah, I, like there were, when I went in eighth grade, when I got to walk around DC and like go in certain buildings and stuff, there were metal detectors and stuff. Um, but, the outside outside seems very unprotected, and I guess you, it, it is a like, city. Like normal yeah. people live there. Like yeah. it's not know, like there's how, metal how, detectors at every like juncture to enter the the city. It's not like there's yeah. walled off. It, it it's like you know suggesting that there should be way more security in like downtown Boston. It's like I guess, but like it's a city. Like people are gonna walk outside. Like yeah, you know, people live there. Yeah, when Haley okay, Ben titled the video "A Full and Comprehensive Guide on How to Murder the President of the United States" <laughs> yeah. and see how much trouble that gets us into. Yeah, probably, especially probably a bit. Uh, just I was make actually, sure you keep out. Do her. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe go back and yeah, um, yeah. No, but I mean, it's, I, that's I, just I, weird. Like uh, I've always been like a paranoid fuck. So even when Haley and I were. Were we in Boston or we were in New York? At one point, Haley and I were in one of the major cities together alone. And there were definitely times where I was like, this would be like prime terrorist attack thing. You know what I mean? Like in my head, I'm like, yeah. this is like not sa- I don't feel safe here. And there's like no yeah. security guards in this one area. That's me. Every time I enter an airport, I'm like, I'm like, you know, pe- people like blowing these up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here. Yeah. Um, Sean, Sean, I actually have a question about, and this is like kind of like a tangential thing, but are you comfortable talking about you sucking down bat saliva? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna... I, I, cause I, I want to, I want to just, I want to put a, put a, get the record straight on as this. An explanation of how much of a paranoid person Sean is. I, I would like him to tell that story. Uh, I think I have time for that. I have, um, I have a, the the term is called perseverative OCD. So I don't really care about like washing my hands. I don't care about like making shit organized as you may or may not be able to tell behind me. It's not particularly like neat or orderly, but I have issues with uh, thought loops where like my brain will latch on. And it's like in that aspect, it's normal. But what, what will happen is I will be like unable to shut off a thought that causes a, a fear response. So like, um, a year ago, maybe two years ago now, I was walking with Haley and um, what I thought now I know was not a bat, but at the time I thought it was a bat flew over me. And I'm talking to Haley and I'm like looking at the stars because I like stars. And uh, I like felt That's like a- Sophie died. Who? Who's Sophie? <laughs> She's a hyper pop transgender artist. And she died because she was looking at the. She was trying to get a better look at the moon, and she fell off a cliff. Oh, that's real. not at all. Fuck her. I don't care. She's a really good artist, though. Yeah, she should. She should have killed herself earlier. She didn't kill herself. <laughs> oh yeah, the wind killed her. I mean, kind of. <laughs> the fall. 
If I didn't kill yeah. myself, it was the sudden <laughs> stop at the bottom that killed me. That's a great fucking bit. I should what, uh, what do has that more brains? What has more brains than Osama bin Laden? The what? wall behind him. Okay, yeah, yeah. Quick right. Vonnegut's sheets. That's fucked up, dude. That's actually fucked. He died, dude. That's so fucked that you would make that yeah, joke. Yeah, it's so fucked up that he would talk about my best friend like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who told me about the fifth window on the right of the White House. Yeah. Fox News read a story this morning about explaining why millennials like Osama bin Laden now, or Gen Z or whatever. Go ahead. Because he had, like, Barney or something on his laptop. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I don't have a full comprehensive understanding of the program, mm. but they did run that story this morning. Wonderful. I'm so happy that us millennials love Osama. I, Osama? I'm a big fan. Osama. So uh, I, uh, Fre- Freddie, my cat, um, I just, <laughs> anytime I get mad at him, I call him. F- uh, so we came up with his first and last name, are Frederick Juilliard. Um, and it's the gayest name I've yeah. ever heard. And so, uh, but now when I get mad at him, I call him Frederick. Shit, I lost my 20 bucks. I call him Frederick <laughs> Hussein Juilliard. Anytime he, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure my neighbor can hear when I, but Frederick Hussein Juilliard. <laughs> it's a French name. Bob Hussein. It's a French a good one. one. Toffee. Speak, finish your story about the bat, dude. Mm, I mean, that's basically, so I was, I had like, I thought that I had bat spit on me, and obviously, like, it landed on my lips, so I thought I swallowed it. So then it was, it literally lasted, like, three or four months where I was certain that I was going to die. It was, like, uh, it was like day in and day out fear response, where I was, like, shaking, I had, like, dry heaving. It was, like, uh, it was, like, a panic attack, but for, like, two months straight. Let me do, let me go to therapy, right? Or that was something... Yeah, I went to therapy because Haley was, like, what the fuck is going on? I'm, like, I don't know. Yeah, we went. To I, mean, I was. I had OCD. I had the. I don't know what it's called, but I had the the. Evan the, chatted. Hey, Ev, what's going on? What he happened? said, "Imagine being a millennial." Lol. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Is he a zoomer? My my mom will call me almost thirty all the time. It pisses me off. Um, I I had I had the I had a the hypochondria, which is, I I assume some there was some like weird strain of OCD. Hypochondria is like related mean? to yeah. I think it's a sub subgenre. It was a, it, so I had this weird subgenre of OCD, and I it was it was I was having panic attacks about having panic attacks. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I would I would like Evan says over- first year Zoomer gang rise up. Fucking nineteen ninety seven looking ass. I'm. Mm. I, I am, Does that make me second year Zoomer? A are you nineteen ninety eight. Yep. Yeah, you're a second year Zoomer. Every source I look up on this has a different year. Yeah, yeah. For that. Yeah, oh yeah, it's like, it's, yeah. I mean, I go by ninety six because I think it's funny that I'm like the last year of millennial, and I say pog. Well, I doesn't like even know cap. what a pog is. What does cap mean, Sean? Uh, a lie, falsified information. Nailed, nailed it. And there's like Jesus was nailed into the, into the. Evan, we already made that joke earlier in the show. What? You what can retire saying? now. You, yeah, I'm not even going to acknowledge you. Did he, he say I was fat again? No, he said P A W G. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It all comes full circle. It does. Yeah, all. that was but how you started know, this show. I do. I, gotta be real full I don't even know what that. Well, I don't. I only know. I only know the Zoomer Pog. What's the? What's the other one? A fat ass, ass white girl. girl. <laughs> That's very funny. No. Yeah. No. I did not. I. I did not know that. I, maybe I did. I knew. P, I know P H A T means like fat, but in a good way. So yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's not I what called the a girl that I didn't like. I called a girl that I didn't like fat with a ph, and I realized that I made a mistake. This was like when I was like fifteen or sixteen. <clears throat> no, Christy, we bet. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, Christmas like was Christy. good, dude. Oh my god, dude! Such a f- f- Christmas, Christmas. So my family doesn't like. Open, I need to like, go no in like ten minutes. A super quick story, dude. I promise. Um, uh, my family doesn't like waking up early on Christmas. My family, because they're drunk. When I say my family, I just mean me and my brother. <laughs> um, so we open Christmas gifts uh, the night of Christmas Eve, and normally we're all together for it, but this time we we were not. So we did a three way WhatsApp call with my mom and my. So it was um, me and Alexis at my place, obviously. My 
uh, my my mom, my aunt, my dad, and my younger brother on another on, on the, the second. That's the second party, and the third party was my sister and my older brother. And it was really a three way call with people <laughs> over the age of like thirty is always kind of just AIDS. Oof. Like they just don't know how like microphones work on phones. Like my dad, my dad played an unironically ten minutes of fart sounds through Amazon Alexa. And he was cra- he was drunk. He was cracking up the entire time. Just, That's you know, part of the jib jab You're not going to get too many of those moments. You know what I mean? That's sweet. Yeah. Have, have well, you ever he, been sent a jib jab? He, I made a jib jab. I made two of them. I didn't know what it was, but I made one. I made, I made them. At should the, we yeah. should we upload jib jabs on our uh, reflex yeah, that's, that's channel? Like easy, that's that instead of instead of buying an editor, we just make jib jabs. <laughs> <laughs> no um, maybe uh, maybe that's is. a bucket lab upload as we do a maybe. jib jab. Um. Yeah. So my, he, was, he was playing <laughs> fart sounds, laughing his ass off. My mom was cackling at my my dad playing fart sounds and laughing. And then my 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 dad got me a Snoop Dogg cookbook. Oh, I think my mom has that, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, and my dad, watch my dad mom. holds up, holds up, holds or my up dad, the speaker. Maybe. I don't know. My 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 dad holds up the speaker. Uh, so I, I he, my mom's holding the phone, pointing it at him, and my dad's holding up the speaker that he's playing gin and juice. And you'd think like, oh, that, you know, it'd be funny for like maybe like ten to fifteen seconds. He played it for like a full minute and a half. <laughs> like it was like like a way too long for the joke. And so he's playing fucking gin and juice. On this, on this speaker, I'm surprised they you know, know black music at all. <laughs> my dad loves Snoop Dogg. My dad really? loves Snoop Dogg. Your I don't know dad, why. Racist, old racist Rick McGee. Old racist <laughs> Rick doesn't know that he he loves Snoop Dogg. I don't know why. Probably because um, he. It's funny. The only time I've ever seen a picture of your dad is from that Nicki Minaj edit when you got a new car, and it's still one of my favorite things you've edited for us. Oh yeah, I forgot I did that. That was a good one. Yeah, that was my old man. Um, I don't think he's actually racist, but it's funny to call a sixty-something-year-old yeah, yeah. yeah, man I don't racist. Think he's I think that, that racist, but I mean, he, he actually. Reti- I don't know if I, I told you guys this. He did retire. Oh and, yeah, uh, he has a man from cave what? from getting his shit hacked by a ransomware. <laughs> I yeah. thought you were gonna say pushed in. I was, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I was, I was def- I was thinking of a uh, of a, of a he, he he retired from his job he's he working as an IT manager for like 30 like 20 something years oh sweet but he has he has a whole man cave he plays guitar so he has his guitars all set up and what i got him for christmas was a like just one of those miniature like golf sets like the, the ones that are like maybe like 6 feet long it's just like one long thing with a little hill that uh didn't come with a putt <laughs> just, uh, what would be just, your just, dream man cave I have it downstairs. It's a very small room with two with two um, sex dolls, two <laughs> sex dolls, a few uh, love seats, um, a retro uh, like a, a CRT, a, a an LCD screen, all my consoles, and a <laughs> little tiny carpet, and my cats sometimes if they want to join. What about you? No retro games. All all the retro games in there. Yeah. I'd have a little mini bar with like a cigar box and then like a brick of cocaine that just sits on the table. And then there'd be like a big screen with a nice sound system and um, like some uh, sports memorabilia, a coffee machine, a machine to suck my dick and uh, a podcast studio. (laughs) This is a big man cave. That's a lot. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Shit, there was something I said during that that made me want to talk about something else. Now I can't remember which part of that <laughs> was the thing that reminded me of something else. Um, Think about shit. it. You got this. You got this. You got this. Shit. You're good. You're doing I so genuinely good. lost my train you're doing, of thought. So you're looking so good. You're looking really good today. Do I look good today? You look great today, Zach. You know what's weird? I feel like for the past year, I've been like ultra self-conscious about the way I look. And then recently over the past month, I've stopped giving a shit about like how I treat my body. Like if anything, I've gotten, I've gained more weight and I've been more unhealthy. But for some reason, I look at myself in the mirror and I go, yeah, I look better. I don't know what that is. I don't know what caused that. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I think I, I think it all, it all just comes, Tron fell asleep. I think that all kind of just comes in no, waves. I'm just started looking at Reddit. Um, I think that all kind of comes in waves. I, I, feel, I feel this. Shut the fuck up with your emails, bro. <laughs> what is this? Who did you set this up with? This is like a preconceived bit. 
Okay, well, I didn't really get any. Oh, I got a Snapchat. I genuinely got a Snapchat. I was going to say I lied, but I did get a Snapchat. So, Hello, Megan. Say hi for me. I can't believe you read that backwards. It's not backwards for anybody but you, brother. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yes. Oh, I got an email. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe Ben read, dude. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. My eyes, my eyes can actually be read two screens at once, funny enough. It's pretty dope. Mm-hmm. You're like um, a, the lizard from Ringo and your eyes. No, I'm like the fucking Rango? baby from that one movie. What? Ringo, yeah. <laughs> Ringo isn't that the guy? Isn't, that, isn't he gay? Yeah. Ringo Starr? Is he? I don't know. Makes know. sense. What makes sense about that? Go ahead. I'm listening. He made that gay ass Christmas song, right? That was Mariah Carey. Simply having. Yeah. yeah. That song is awful. Yeah. It's the worst Christmas song. You know song. what sucks? Penis, dude. Sad Christmas songs. Why? Why are there oh, sad? That's like fine. The one last no, Christmas. No, 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 no. That's a like, great song. Like, Elvis Presley, no, 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 Blue no, Christmas, listen. great song. Well, I'll have a Blue Christmas without you. Yeah, it's a that's great a song. That's a dog shit song. It's a classic song. It's a dog shit song. I'll have a Blue Yo, Are we Christmas. Silent Night fans here? Huh? Fuck Silent Night. You don't like Silent Night? Silent Night. Silent Night's, 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 well. Night's goaded. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Silent all is fucking all goaded. Is, like you said, all um, is well. My, What's there not to like? <laughs> all is well. My favorite is Oh, Come Emmanuel, though, for sure. I'd have to hear him. Oh. Oh, Come I got roasted oh, endlessly. The song, the song clears. I'm sorry. Okay, so <laughs> I got roasted endlessly for this last year when I told my friends, uh, the Wings Brothers, about the existence of this song. They were they rejected its existence entirely and made fun of me relentlessly for knowing about this. But it's a real Christmas song, mm-hmm. and it was genuinely a part of my Christmases growing up. Okay. And you guys acknowledging it honestly does nothing for me because they'll probably laugh yeah. just as hard at you. Are either of you aware of Dominic the Donkey? He left. Damn, he did not give you any... any no. That's fine. No, no we, to I've be fair, he said, I have, he said, I have 10 minutes, and then we went on for another 15. So yeah, that's fine. Gone. Do yourself know, a favor. On this stream right now, go to YouTube, look up Dominic the Donkey. Okay. I swear this is real. This is a, uh, it was a hit too. It was, a, it was on the Billboard charts if back I lag, in the day. If I lag, I'm really mad, Zach. Hmm? Oh. If I lag, I'm going to be really You might think it's a joke when you hear it. I oh, is it lagging? The song. Then? Oh, maybe you maybe you played it because I'm logged into the regurgitated pod YouTube uh. channel and it, it's partially viewed. <laughs> okay, then it probably is me. But um, it's not a recent song either. It's from like the 70s or something. Oh, I can barely hear Christmas you. You're like, there you go. It's a good song. It's not as good as the NSYNC one, but it is pretty good. Yeah. Do you like the, do you like the NSYNC one? I don't know what you're talking about. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Never? Never. Although Target's ruining Love Like This by Faith Evans for me. It's been on my playlist for years and it's been a yeah. good song. But now they have Lo- this shitty, like, this shitty version of it and all these Target ads. And I'm like, well, now it just sounds like a shitty Target right. ad exactly. when it yeah, comes exactly. up in my playlist. Does, yeah, I love the way you lie. All the target ads have Evans. Also, you lie. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's why they call it window pane. <laughs> uh, that song is fucking goaded, dude. So good. Was it 2011, 2010? <laughs> right? Am I right? What the time frame? 2010, 2011? Is that the, the time frame that it's in? Like around that time? Like 10 years, 12 years ago? 10 years ago? That's why they call it window pane. I guess that's why they call it window pane. <laughs> it is a pretty good song, but there's some shit around that era that's not good. And one bad song. I love that the era. way you lie. Um, li- I love um, I love Bad Meets Evil, and I love Bruno Mars, but Lighters is just not it, and it was way too popular. I liked I liked Lighters. Let's but pull I liked up the- Relapse right now. Actually, <laughs> I like the leak leaked version. Not of- Relapse uh, Recovery. I'm sorry. I- I liked the leaked version of Bad Meets Evil more than the official version of Bad Meets Evil. Oh, yeah. Was there some shit there where, like, the album got leaked and he had to redo it? That's kind of what recovery happened, too. The record got leaked, like, a couple weeks before, and he, like, made new songs for the beginning of it. And it's kind of like... Let's talk about this for a second. So me and the recovery. Me and the... (laughs) 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 Me and the boys have been playing Black Ops 
uh, Black Ops Three, and we've been playing. We've been playing like the Zombie Chronicles map pack, whatever the fuck it has. All the like old zombies <laughs> maps remade. Remade. Very good. It's, it, we have like two more sessions of worth of the uh, maps to go, and um, one map I did not know this had "Won't Back Down" by Eminem, Eminem and oh, Pink. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's 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 five, right? I don't know. It's the one in the Pentagon. Uh, I don't. We didn't play that one, so I don't think so. But we didn't. We didn't oh. actually hear the song because it wasn't. It was in. I think it was in Black Ops one or two, but it was not in three. Hmm. The song wasn't in three, but we we did not play that five or whatever. I wanted to be fucking JFK, and there's not a there's not an official version of that map or Transit, by the way, or that fucking matter. Um. Uh. But. That I found that so funny that won't back down was in the was in the map. I I did, never knew that, and I, I heard that and I thought it was the funniest piece of news I've ever heard. It's fucking won't back down. Pink is actually an incredible artist, by the way. I didn't know that until like years way too late. But Pink is like <coughs> goaded. I, I, I said to, to Megan like that her. Ben says hi, and she says, "Oh, is that the Ben from this other place?" And I was like, "No, that's a different Ben." She like left me a whole paragraph about the Ben she met. And I'm like, that's a different person. I'm like, that's not that you, when you, when you say Ben, it should be the one that's important. No comment. Um, <laughs> where, where, is, where, where is, where is the dollar store Ben, by the way, dollar store Ben, the right fucking the smart one. The actual, what, what about ben? him? What about him? Says that he's a dollar store Ben. Well, because he's like the off brand of the main one. Great value. Maybe. Great value members, Mark. Um, where, where, where is he? Is that your yeah, question? I miss him. He was very funny. Um, he moved, and I, I think he's just a busy guy. And I think both of the Wings brothers don't. Uh, I think they're just they. We need to start doing this show more often and get back to our edited format. And I think they'll join us again. No, but he didn't forever. Back, dude, I miss it, him. We need to. We need to get back into a regular schedule where they can predict it and it needs to be an episode with not a lot of people and they need to be ready for it but yeah they'll, they'll be back if they're not back i'm gonna be really upset i'm gonna, I'm gonna have a problem with the wings brothers the fists are gonna be flying with these fucking wings brothers it's gonna be a big it's gonna be a big fucking issue i miss grumps i don't remember which what that is <laughs> yeah, grumps I'm, Oh, that was like the first one. That was one of the first ones. Yeah. I forgot about that. I miss B Love because I like dogs. B Love was cool. B-Love who's was my cool. who's Marsha? My aunt. Oh, I don't miss Marsha. Yeah, Marsha was the first one, I think. Hey Marsha, Marsha. Whatever, yeah. Something like that. I do miss Mary miss- Lane. She was uh every 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 sixth of January. She's coming around soon. Every sixth of January she shows up. <laughs> I, I should reach out to Marsha and say, Can we do a January sixth special? Yep. Yep, she always shows. But up. that would require us to film another episode before January. Film, film and release an episode. Film, film and release this one, and then film and release another one in a week and a half. <laughs> yeah, so what we got to do is we got to get Marsha on a call, and we got a quick we gotta, twenty minute or a little <clears> mini <throat> episode, a little mini, a little mini sode. We say, Marsha, draw draw what you saw on the at the Capitol on that day, and just see what she draws. Like we'll trauma. discuss this idea further. It seems like the trauma response, but like she's able to like fully, like, yeah, illustrate how she feels. Ben, how do you think it w- it'll be to spend a weekend with me? Do you feel like I'm a normal person? What What is your read on me before I go out there? So my hope would be that. <laughs> so we're gonna be like content brained really hard Mm -hmm. for a majority of the day. And I'm hoping when, when night falleth and after the clapping be clapped, uh, we, uh, we, we, we're going to be able to just like chill in the man cave or chill somewhere. And like, just like, I'll just put on Suica and we can just, we can just chat and hang out. And I think it's going to be super fucking chill. Um, and then you're going to have a lot of time, but it will be cool. You're going to rip a line of, Coke that is a, just a little bit more about, yellow than you'd think. I, I thought about this morning playing like an ultra 
exaggerated version of myself for the three days that I'm there. Like I would wake up super early and go for a run and then come back and start smoking like two cigarettes at a time and then drink like three cups of coffee. And like every time we go out to eat, I get like two meals. <laughs> you know what you're I mean? Just, like, you're just in, I, in, in mid, mid like IRL pod, you just have a heart attack. Content, baby. I, I, I feel like I could do it. Just on a, on a whim, just have a heart attack. How free am I allowed to? Am I allowed to be when I come over there? Should I just be fully, truly, just I'm go mode? Just don't, I just don't make me lose my security deposit, and we'll we'll be solid. Sweet. Yeah, I might already lose it, so it, may, it might not matter too much. The cat it keeps fucking. I don't think you usually get them back. The cat keeps climbing on. We have a we have a we have a we have a, 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 a doors to a cabinet. My hair is all where's fucked the, up. I can't do it. It looks it looks wonderful. Where the cat food is, and there's like three drawers under under there, and he, he keeps climbing in there and leaving claw marks on the top of the of the drawers. We might lose it anyway. You probably have. You probably right. have. I already like kind of separated myself from that money. It would be a nice like bonus to like, get that money back, but I've already kind of separated myself from it. So <laughs> Um, but yeah, as long as you don't break my house, we'll be solid. But you know what I mean? There's certain people that like, you know, you spend some time with and you're like, why you're, I don't like living with you. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever taken a trip with someone where you're like, you're just a bad person to be around like this normally? Yes, absolutely. I don't think you're going to be like that, but you could if you wanted to. What has someone done to you like that? That has made you been like, I don't want to like take a trip with this person anymore. Um. So I'm, I don't know. I'm going to just blame it on autism. Like I always blame everything on autism, but like, I'm, I'm very like, if I have a plan, don't, I I really don't like my plan being (laughs) fucked with. I don't, I don't mean, and I'm not, I'm not like an uh, aggressive person, but it bothers me. So when I'm like, Oh, we're going to do this, 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 and this today. And I lay it out straight. I'm like, we're going to go like, I don't know if we go to a convention, we're going to go to this panel at two, this panel at four, this panel at six. And then they're like, oh, but the, this panel is at, you know, uh, 3.30. I'm going to go to that instead. And I'm going there alone. Even that bothers me. But if they're like, oh, I don't want to go to the 4 o'clock panel, that is like fucks with me. Like super hard fucks with me. Or if like, or if we're going to be like even 10 minutes late for something, I get really, I, that fucks with me I really hate hard. being late to things. I hate yeah. being late to things. I guess if someone else <laughs> wants to go fuck off and do their own thing, I'm like kind of whatever about that. Like yeah. I don't care. But like if I'm with a group of people and we make plans for something and then the group decides to change that midday yeah. or like my, my parents used to do this thing that would drive me insane. And again, this is going to sound like first world problems uh, because again, they were taking me out to, to food, right? Like that's the setup for this whole thing is it's every time we would go out for food. So again, I'm grateful I had people to pay for my food, but we would always do this thing where they'd go like, okay guys, we're going to I pick the pick any restaurant. We're going to Texas Roadhouse, right? And as we're driving to Texas Roadhouse, the entire car ride would be spent debating where else we could be going for food. And it would yeah. drive me up a wall yeah. where it's like, can we not just go to like the one place? Like, like where are we going? It would the give me so place. much anxiety. You know what I mean? That like yeah. we would be driving to a place and still not truly know like where we're going to go. Yeah. You know, I, yeah, I, 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 I get that. I hundred percent get that. Honestly, and I and I and I and I don't mean to scare you off. And I think I don't think it's true anymore. I think I used to be that annoying person. To be honest with you, I think I used I don't to think be it like would scare me off, especially as an adult. I can handle that. I guess what really gets under my nerves is like <clears throat> now that I am an adult, and it's like if I make plans with like a group of friends or like my girlfriend and her friends or something, and I say I'm going to be here at this time. And I'm like moving work around for it or like I got to do other things. And then all of a sudden, like within an hour of me leaving, there's discussions of changing that plan or going somewhere, you know, like that, that shit drives me up a wall still to this day. But like, I guess like if I flew out there and we were just like hanging out and trying to figure out where to eat, like that would bother me less, you know? So I have, I have a weird, like, if the plans are like mutual and there's not a plan maker, I'm much happier doing being chill about it. Like if, if we were to like, if we're in a rush to record stuff, but we like take long for breakfast and we both are just kind of like enjoying like eating somewhere that stuff that doesn't bother me. I love, I'd love to just like 
if we're just chilling, eating food and talking and we're enjoying it, I'm like, I can be, we can be late for recording. So if we can just, you know, record later or whatever, record less, like that kind of stuff. I, I, I'm super chill with, but as soon, as soon as like, there's a de- de- definitive, like, especially if I'm the plan maker, if I have like a kind of a schedule or itinerary in my head for even just where to be at certain times, not even like doing a thing, just being up in a place. Yeah. It really fucks with me. Like if I, for example, like if I have a, this is, it goes to this level. If I, if I have like a, a, a pickup order somewhere for gro- groceries or something at like four 30 and I, and I, my brain, I'm like, okay, I'm going to leave here at four. And then, something happens with my car at four and it's like, I have to leave at four fifteen, and I can still make it on time. Just the, even the fact, just the fact that I had to leave 15 minutes later, really it gets under my skin. That, that bothers me too. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, which is funny because I'm late for a lot of stuff. I'm rare. I'm rarely late. Actually, funny story about that. You know, I have, I've had this new job for all. Did your recent Amazon order meet our expectations? You meet your expectations, review it on Amazon and your opinion matters. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. I'm happy you had to get that resolved. Um, so I, uh, <laughs> so, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this uh, job I've had for almost a full year now, right? Um, I've been early every single day, the entire time I've worked there until last week, I woke up two hours late. And wow. it, I, it fucked me up. I like immediately was like apologizing to people. I, I didn't even take a shower. I just threw on whatever clothes were on my floor and I just got in my car and drove there. And everyone was like, oh, it's okay. But in my mind, I was like, this is not okay. Yeah, the, <laughs> I, was like, yeah, I woke the, up the, two yeah, hours late it's, today. It's, it's more so a youth thing than a, yeah. Well, like even though like, you know, I resolved the issues with everyone else and everything, everything that had to get moved around that. How do I put this? this is going to sound, I don't know. It it threw my routine off. You know what I mean? And because it threw my routine off, like I felt like physically, like I had a headache for a bit, you know, like I was mentally trying to wrap my brain around like what I was doing that day. It was biceps, dude. Oh, you like that? Oh yeah, that's just not that's not me just pushing a, my my arms he's against a strong my body. Boy. Dude, it just push your body arms against your body. You oh, I just ripped on my headphones. You look How tough tall are no you? matter what. I can't hear you. How tall are you? I can hear you now. How tall are you? I don't know, like six one. I don't know. Big boy. You're like a skinwalker height, so. Are, are you are you excited to finally see how tall I am in person? You know, just walk in looking like looking like you're on fucking stilts. You have to like bend down and get into my my doorway. A goofy looking man, guy looking looking. I hair. still to this day have people debate how tall I am. I should probably just get it like professionally measured and finalize it. But do you have that on your ID? <laughs> That's the most professional. Way you to- just literally tell them how tall you are, and they oh, write true? it on your I, ID. I don't remember. I yeah. don't actually remember. I remember. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was you, but I definitely have had an argument with someone, one of my friends online where they said like, where they were arguing about me being six, four. And I said, it's on my driver's license. And I sent them a picture and they laughed hysterically. And they're like, that doesn't mean a fucking thing <laughs> because it's true. Yeah. I mean, they were right. Like you just tell them how tall and how fat you are. And that's what they write down. Like when they asked me my weight, I think I, it's like 190 on my driver's license. I ain't no fucking way I'm 190, boss. Ain't no fucking way I'm 190 anymore, boss. But that's what it says on my that. driver's license. Yeah, I don't even. I, I don't go near a scale. I haven't been weighed or heighted. What do you call that? Heighted. I, I know heighted. That's the right word. Measured. Sure. I'm. I'm. I'm uh, I'm, I'm six feet tall and probably about four to six inches with thick. Maybe we should measure each other. We get out there. Yeah, we can measure the each other for sure. Either. Yeah, and shave as well. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're gay. Uh. <laughs> you're a gay guy. <sighs> when was the last time you were insulted? Two seconds ago. Yeah, so look out for the Elden Ring video. I will. 
you, 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 you have. A, what you do you need to get the Elden Ring for DOL? In it. You played two parts. Do in I it. really? Yeah, you made made me the, the little animations. That oh, were are you actually be, using that? Yeah, they were they were a placeholder, but I'm like they're actually they're like shit posting <laughs> funny enough where they could be used as like the main. And then, okay. um, and then uh, you, I also plug the podcast. Oh, sweet! So your name is in the script. I know, I know. Big news. And then how's rewind coming? <laughs> I, I haven't touched. I, I, I actually, I, whenever I sit at my desk and I'm like in the mood to like do be constructive, only the podcast or only the the Elden Ring video. Fair enough. Because uh, well, I'm excited. So just to be clear, is this our last actual recording of an episode until I fly out, or do you want to do one more in January? We can do one in January. I mean, I, I love talking to you, Zach, to you. I don't mind. I don't mind doing whatever. We could, how about this? In my mind, too, we I was also like, if I could stockpile shorts and yeah. shit until then, it would make it a lot easier to be like, oh, now we're working on the IRL stuff. And once right. IRL stuff are coming yeah. out, then it's like we mix in the these podcasts in between that. And then it feels yeah. like we're doing a lot of shit consistently from that point forward. We do. Okay. Here's, the, here's my idea. We do one pod for mid for like mid January release. This, <laughs> this is so like not a podcast public time conversation but here's the schedule going forward one one podcast for like a mid-january release we have one we have one podcast in january okay then at the at starting mid-february starting and then at the end of january we have the irl pod we release that before any of the other stuff then we edit and release all the other stuff which i think we're doing half right what we're doing half each i'm editing for your editing for is that the idea sure still done um and we're going to release those tick, 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 every, every Monday for eight weeks. I thought we were going to do every other week. And it'd be good. Like every non-podcast week. I don't mind. I don't care. <clears throat> we'll talk about that more off air. I don't know when the next time I'm going to fly out there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I get, I get is. So, um, so we do that. Um, there's something else that I, yeah. So, Mid, mid mid edited non-live podcast for release mid January. This is the last live one. Uh and then and then videos start pseudo normally kind of like very uh starting February. Yeah. Again, I think dream blunt rotation is uh <laughs> is new IRL content every other week and in between that podcast every other week. Yeah. And then a short, maybe once a week on top of that. But even that, I'm not going to stick too religiously to that. But for the yeah. most part, once a week on top of that. Yeah. So that's I, I don't know how at. much more of that shorts content I have left either. I got to look through that. We got yeah, to record more of that. We're going to record some of that in person, I assume, too. So <laughs> yeah, I'll think of some ideas for that. Win win. Um, but OK, yeah, we're I think I I am great. I'm good to end the pod if you're if you're all set. You have I think we should just sit in silence for 10 more minutes. I really wanted to commit to that, but I'm like, my brain is too, like, I'm, it just moves too fast. Very smart guy over here. FanDuel, when I logged into FanDuel this morning, the place that bet on the Browns game, they said, do you want to watch your, do you want to look at your wrapped, your year in review? And I was like, fuck no. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I was like, how much what? Fun, how much? Fun I was do you like, think sports you lost? betting too much. Um, funny thing is, like last year, I definitely made money. Like I deposited, like I think a cool hundo at the beginning of the NFL season, and I think I walked away like net positive on that. Like just doing little smart small stuff throughout the mm-hmm, year, mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. just for fun. And then this year was like everything I thought was just wrong. <laughs> it was just this year. It was like all my money is just gone. You should start doing like horse horse race betting then. Just like say I can do Drake. Or you like know about Greyhound Drake's new racing. alter ego? Uh, Drake's new alter ego. Let me guess what that means. Um, Drake has a new alter ego based on his gambling streams. No, I had, nope. I have no idea what you mean. I need the max win. Is that the fucking hat thing? Yeah. Yeah, I know. The, I, know I need the exactly max that. win. Yeah, I did see that. Why is why is Bro on kick though? What the fuck is happening? What I is don't happening? Know. But he was sponsored by Steak for a while. I think he yeah, still is. True. And I think yeah. they own part of Kick. It's crazy that these internet celebrities know these like actual celebrities. Like Drake, Drake responding to like they I make sure money. I mean, if you can make enough money on yeah, it, yeah, then like 
I showed speed. It was in Drake's comment saying, how do you get girls or something like that? And then Drake said, stop barking at them at first, maybe, or something like that. Was it Cardi B or Nicki Minaj shit. that came on Kai Sinet's stream like a week or two Nicki ago? Nicki Minaj. I saw. Holy fucking shit. Nicki Minaj was just on Kai Sinet's stream. What's happening? Yeah. What's happening? Uh, Why can't I have Taylor I mean, Swift on the podcast? Dude, I was, I was thinking for like the Cleveland thing. I was like, what if we could, I could have you like try to hit real balls from like a MLP pitcher or something. And I was like, that would does, require me to. Where does OJ Simpson live? My first thought was California, but I'm pretty sure he went on record saying he won't return to LA in case he's n- near Sitting next the to actual the guy. killer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that yeah. was like a real quote he said. He played for the Buffalo Bills, but in all of his videos, he seems to be in like a beachy, resorty area. So I don't think he's in Buffalo, New York. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Florida would be my best guess. Florida. Okay. And I don't know, but my best guess is OJ's out in Florida you think or we somewhere in California out? that's not in LA. Hmm? You think we could fly him out for an IRL pod? Didn't the Nelk boys already do that? I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> I, know they, they, I think they, they did. They, I think they, they, they interviewed. Trump, right? Yeah, just, I think they interviewed OJ Simpson. Round two. I mean, I'm this down. guy. I'm down. All right. Well, the next episode is going to have OJ Simpson. Um, but Stay tuned. Until- subscribe <laughs> for OJ Simpson. Subscribe <laughs> if you like OJ Simpson. This channel is uh, now OJ affiliated, OJ approved. Ooh, that's a good title. OJ approved. Well, I was thinking Not of doing a full and comprehensive guide on how to <laughs> murder the president of the United States. <laughs> well, I, my honest, my, my, my first idea for a thumbnail was our crazy content ideas. And it's like me holding a gun to the back of your head. But then I'm like, Oh, YouTube's going to be so mad at that. They'd be so yeah, mad. At that. Guns are kind of a no go, but Hey, yeah. I also like, we, again, seriously though, we only have a month before I fly out there. So whether or not we want to talk privately about content ideas, or you want to set we'll, up that other stream, let gonna, me know. We're going to do it. We're going to do a discord call. For sure. Because again, I'm going to fly out. You're going to pick me up from the airport. We're going to hang out Saturday. We'll go out to dinner. Just some boys hanging out. Sunday, all content. And then Monday, we can do breakfast or something. But then you got to drive me to the airport because I got to get there at like 11 a.m. Yeah. So, so I will. We'll. How about. We can. We're going to definitely schedule this better offline. But how about we schedule like a normal Friday night thing and we just have a bunch of people on the call. If that, if that's something that you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Just, um, run by me the, the dates whenever you yeah, know. Yeah, I will. I will. So, all right. Well, end of the podcast. 36 is over. See ya. Not live in like probably two weeks or more. Maybe a little. I'm maybe excited. Three. I bet I, before we leave, I, I apologize for being autistically fixated on like making content right now. It is not, yeah, nothing you is your fucker, fault, dude. Not me trying to make another YouTube channel to do literally that. You fucking pussy. I know, but like a lot of this stuff requires you to do things. And I understand that I'm like pushing you when you're already video trying over, to do a lot of I shit. I got all the so, time in the world. Don't even I worry know. about it. I'm just saying, I love you, brother. Mwah. I love you. Mwah. Now say something weird for the out- outro when it goes to the <laughs> end screen. You like worms, Ben? You like worms crawling through all your holes, your whole nose hole, all kind of holes. <laughs>